for the for the benefit of the attendees uh, let me uh, tell up front this session is purely educational and if during the conversation any any names of the companies uh, come up so those will be purely for illustration purposes and there won't be any kind of buy sell recommendation from any one of us so please uh, take uh, the learnings of today's session as a starting point do not act on the names taken during the conversation sure yeah. that will be important once we start and uh, i will also perhaps repeat the same yeah great yeah uh, you may move uh, pratyush also to the uh, uh, matlab you may also grant him the right he is also available uh, yeah hello yeah, you sh- i just sent the request to pratyush also i was sending when you sure sure okay uh, ayush can you check with him i have already sent him the request so yeah, has he received the, uh, yeah rather than joining from other computer he is now sitting with me only so though he is saying ki matlab largely i'll be covering it but in between if required then he'll join in sure sure that would yeah, be great agar koi screener ka question aaya ya beech mein kahin kuch laga ki uh, i'll ask him contribute karne ke liye matlab i want him to chip in jahan pe main phasu to isliye he sitting with me <laughs> right right yeah. great okay and and guys in the meantime please feel free to uh, share the pin to it so that more people can benefit from uh, today's session sorry uh, share the what you said so i was asking the attendees uh, okay. ayush Perfect. like Got i you. have pinned the tweet uh, link of today's spaces so that they can share within circle so that more people can benefit from the discussion got it so this is live now and uh, 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 is it uh, on yeah it's it's already on and uh, it will be recorded as well yeah got it got it fine so so guys uh, today we have uh, mithal brothers with us ayush and pratyush and uh, these guys don't need any introduction in fact uh, i might need introduction that these are so popular and the screener is i mean something which is secular in indian market is a screener tool because that has touched lives of each and every investor who is uh, getting benefit from the great tool so a very warm welcome uh, ayush and pratyush thank you prince uh, thank you so much i have uh, not tried twitter spaces before but uh, you you were generous enough to ask us to have a session and when i saw your work i was quite amazed that you have been bringing some wonderful people and uh, i think uh, it's a it's a honor for us to be a part of this thank you thanks for your uh, generous words ayush so so guys like by education uh, both ayush and pratyush have done their ca and they are co founder for screener and uh, they are also promoters co promoters of mepl basically a sebi registered portfolio managed company and and like so 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 to start with ayush like since uh, your father is an investor since 1980s so that has set a path for your journey to start with so tell us uh, like how it all started and evolved over a period of time your journey to begin with yeah um yeah um for, first of all before we get started i would like to give a disclaimer i think uh, 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 first thing is that uh, this whole conversation discussion that we are having is more for a conversation and discussion for educational purpose where we'll try to share our experience, experiences and learning uh, this is not uh, any advisory or any recommendation on any stock um, during the conversation if we happen to discuss any stock uh, 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 we uh, most likely will be invested our family might be invested in it and uh, my i also run a pms uh, cb registered pms so we would be invested through that also so kindly do your own diligence um, and we have the right to change our views take opposite actions as and when needed so uh, please follow this disclaimer and there is more for an education and discussion purpose yeah so uh, prince to uh, uh, share about uh, uh, what you asked i think uh, is we have been both have been very lucky to be in a family where in um, our dad started investing so early matlab in early 70s early 80s uh, this was something which was very unpopular and he chose this path because he felt that this is one area which can uh, reward 
him better versus the other avenues and he also felt that this is one way uh, in which there's so much of information knowledge out there so uh, while pursuing his ca he used to read company annual reports and try to look for companies which have good balance sheet but they have they are they are having a bond out there or their ipo is coming so he tried all those things and his focus always was to look for companies which are very cheap unpopular but they have lot of value so that is the path he chose and uh, uh, starting off with no capital at all uh, it has been a very interesting journey and um, uh, for me i was when, when i was in school i was uh, actually never wanting to come into this area i was trying to do something in software because software was very popular at that time but that pulled me tight, uh, timely back into this and uh, uh, i learned a lot while helping him out and that's where i developed a passion into this and uh, since then i've been uh, uh, more or less full time into markets uh, pratyush uh, pratyush uh, after completing his ca he also joined us full time into this and uh, at that time he tried helping us for reducing our uh you know we used to do lot of manual work ki matlab pehle companies ke data bahut rarely milte the so we used to have to collect newspaper clippings we used to go through capital market magazine do lot of hard work to figure out companies jahan pe kuch acche numbers aa rahe hain kuch turn around hua kuch changes hue and try to find the reasons for them so he at that time said that okay maybe i can do lot of automation to reduce the time you take guys take to do all this work and that is where he started creating some excel sheets macros for us but we never used them and he kept improving 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 and uh, eventually he made it on cloud and we started using so every now and then he has tried to develop features which we use for our own research and that is what screener is all about and uh, uh, we have been very fortunate that people have loved it and supported us so much so uh, uh, yeah that's it so ayush uh, it's like you you guys started with screener in the year 2009 how had been uh, the journey initially like if you were to tell us like when it got more popular and how 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 many challenges you faced in the initial phase so as to bring it to all of us yeah so pratyush is here and he'll talk more about the struggle part <laughs> uh, Yes, yeah, so initially I think like uh, the blog did a lot of work for us. Uh, in two thousand nine, we also started the Lal Street blog. Uh, I think uh, blogging about stocks is the quickest way to get followers. I mean, if you just write stocks, you are liquid. You automatically build a following. In our case, I mean, Bhaiya was doing. I tried to write few articles initially. Uh, Bhaiya was not writing, so I just tried to write few blog posts. Uh, but once Bhaiya started writing about stocks, the following automatically started building um that's also time when we connected with donald bhaiya he started value picker at the same time and that forum was created and those things happened yeah but coming specifically to screener i think uh, the i think what uh, the hard part was that pratyush being a ca he has learned most of the technology all by himself and every and now and then he used to scrap the thing he used to create because we never used to use it or there used to be so much of changes in language i think in last 10 years he would have scrapped the whole site and rewritten it written it in new formats more than 10 12 times now so that is the more harder part and uh, the real struggle also was that initially uh, i think uh, uh, we have been always very frugal in terms of uh, the way the way we go about things so uh uh he has done it in a very very frugal way all by himself like he was the only person building it for till 2016 or 17 i think and uh, he used to do it single handedly all by himself uh initially data yahan se lana wahan se lana kaise bhi jugad karke data sab collect karke sab kar deta tha and uh, but yeah the the interesting and the challenging part was that the site was growing exponentially so every time he had to remanage it given the kind of explosion that was happening and 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 the requirements used to change every 3 years matlab pehle kuch soch ke banaya screener tha keval fir realize hua ki nahi we need company data so that got built upon then realize hua ki there has to be a feed jahan se more cheeze follow kar paye to usko banaya then there are so many other features which have been built upon again and again and uh, every time you do that it's a very complex thing Uh, because there is a huge huge database out there which he is managing so wo sab challenge hai isme bahut zyada the other thing was ki i think dad always had this thought that 
market has rewarded us so much and we want to give it back to people how how we can make investing more popular how we can help people research more be more informative get more data about companies so initially we kept kept bearing all the cost everything at our own and uh, till some point that worked and then we felt ki yaar isko self sustaining banana and that is where people have been really supportive with the premium kind of a thing that we brought out and uh, it has worked out very well till now then any anything you want to add pratyush <laughs> yeah so ayush like you have been a proponent of identifying the mispricing and business transition so so would you like to touch upon this um i don't think so i have too much of skill to do that but uh, what we are doing is that we we uh, like i said that dad was always focused on smaller companies and some things which are very cheap and and we are a very diversified investor we pursue lots of ideas matlab at any given point we are always working on some new idea this or that and we when you pursue more than 50 100 odd ideas then you do get lucky with some of them so i think that is what happened um and during the way i think the biggest uh, help that has come in from is some things like value picker like there's a forum which is out there where people come in and they collaborate and they put in so much of valuable information they have discussions about companies jo itne value added hote hain so when you go and read that you get so much of information that even like what happens is ki um um at the core the idea is to find something very early and that usually shows up by way of numbers what happens is that a company when it undergoes a change it might be a turnaround case it might be a case of that company was doing something for 10 years but then suddenly it reaches a inflection point and some big growth starts showing up in the numbers so when those transitions happen if you are early you have several advantages first is that the stock is not popular it is not overvalued so you have lot of margin of safety so if you get get into a stock early then you get get lot of safety and you can build upon lot of work matlab agar aapki entry timely ho gayi fir kya hota hai fir you are into that story then you get connected with more people who are researching upon it then you can do more homework more cuttle but and as you get more comfort you can build upon your position so that is what happens in many of the cases i think right and and you firmly believe in collaborative research uh, which can uh, guarantee i mean you can say uh, extraordinary result so how had been your uh, experience in like uh, the circle which you had or to say the network has helped you in investing basically uh, see uh, collaborative research is the most important thing i think matlab based out of lucknow both of us being able to do something Uh, like this wouldn't have been possible if we would have tried to just be in our shell matlab agar humne sab kuch apne aap karne ki sochi hoti to first of all we are not smart enough to figure out all these things so much of about companies so you definitely need to collaborate second stock market is the only place i think matlab this is the beauty of stock market that this is the only place where it is not your idea my idea there's a company out there we both can research on it and we can benefit out of it so 1 plus 1 becomes 11 maybe so and in in other professions if you see then mostly you will see that there's lot of secrecy while this field is something unique where people are more than happy to share about their ideas about the work they have done if you are doing some genuine work so i don't see why people shouldn't open up about ideas or collaborate because there's only so little that you know about a company and once you once you once you start writing your thoughts to others sharing your thoughts to others then they will share their thoughts then you can build upon the positive negatives that you hear about then you can go deeper so this is what happens i think practically in stock market uh, uh, and there are so many wonderful minds out there today if you go and on the internet you will see so many young people who are doing extraordinary work you will be surprised that yaar ye kaise ye sab data dhoond laate hain kahan se ye sab cheeze dhoond laate hain and you don't have any idea about those things but by reading them by just trying to put in some effort you can understand those things which wouldn't have been ever possible if you were working all alone so i think uh, uh, i'm blessed to be in a field jahan pe itna collaborative work hota hai people come forward share what they are doing and people collaborate Uh, i wish if i i feebly remember like i was reading at pellu picker donald was uh, telling about one incident of a company you 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 guys went for a scuttle but and after the uh, meeting i mean you got my point like which which incidents i was asking about would you like to touch upon that 
Uh, no, I couldn't get what happened. Uh, something perhaps like call. perhaps Donald was mentioning about your perseverance. Like you insisted on the management so as to speak. Uh, they were about to leave, <laughs> and after, they 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 let you give uh, fifteen minutes of time, and they also invited for lunch. If I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the company was actually Shilpa Medicare, and uh, we we invested in two thousand nine, ten, or something like that. And for two three years, we didn't do any groundwork. We used to be a, a desk research person. मतलब uh, so if you go into a past till two thousand from two thousand two three till two thousand nine, ten, eleven, maybe we were just uh, desk research people. यहाँ से जितना भी हम ढूंढ सकते हैं about company वो सारा homework करते रहते थे. And then I met Donald. I interacted with him, and he was a very person. मतलब he is a very very hard working guy. He works on few ideas, but when he works, he goes very very uh, in depth into them. So uh, then we decided that we'll go for the AGM and meet the company. But when we went for the AGM, it was like a uh, uh, a formality kind of a thing. The employees were sitting in a very small room, and uh, it was a show over in five ten minutes. So because I had come all the way from Lucknow, gone to Raichur. Raichur is a outskirt city. It is all the way away from Hyderabad. It's very tough to reach there. And uh, we had put in lot of effort. I mean, we had done so much of work on products, uh, on the pipeline of the company, molecule of the company. What will happen? There's that filing. Uh, there's a crazy amount of work which was done on value picker. So, I mean, after so much effort, after that, we were going there, and I was like, kind of shocked. Kya, ye. So the formality will be finished, and we will not get a chance. So that's where I tried to, uh, you can say that uh, I got restless and tried to sabotage that management here to go and uh, he gives us some time. But uh, and after that effort, uh, Donald actually was quite relaxed and he said, you know, it's been so much effort. We have sent all the questionnaires to management. Everything has been done. It will happen. Just keep patience. And that's what happened when the chairman, uh, MD, read out the speech. He he did that for over. I think 45 minutes or an hour, and in between, I could see that he was having a paper of questionnaire, and that was the questionnaire which we had sent. So that was what gave us a lot of uh, comfort. Ki thik hai, our efforts are not going waste, and uh, and uh, that was a very very informative AGM. I think that was a fantastic AGM that happened. And uh, uh, after that interaction, the management did appreciate our work, and he did say ki. Uh, uh, इतना तो सब जान लिया और क्या जानना है बट वी सेट नहीं वी वॉन्ट टू सी द प्लांट ऑल्सो एंड ही सेट ओके चलो ठीक है सो आई थिंक दिस वॉज अटेंडेड बाई ऑलमोस्ट एट एन पीपल ऑफ वैल्यू पिकर हुए डन लॉट ऑफ हार्ड वर्क एंड ऑल ऑफ देम हैड मतलब प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम सो दैट वॉज द इंसिडेंट दैट माइंड बी डोनल्ड वुड पुट आउट सम right ayush so ayush like we have many questions around that like how how you start with the say if you have to analyze a company or if you have to screen how you screen your ideas i mean screener is helping everybody but what is helping you i mean yeah um so i think uh, uh, the good thing about our market is that you know uh, information has grown multifold matlab 15 years back there were very limited set of documents which used to be out there matlab pehle annual report hi nahi mil pati thi time pe now everything now if you see the amount of data it has just exploded so it's not one or two things actually there are so many things that you need to go through to track a company or find a new idea and uh, to track a company there are several documents like presentation credit rating report annual report the financials this whole amount of data con call transcripts so everything we have been integrating from time to time so that even if you miss something it is out there and you might want to spend some time upon that so, um, so whatever were the missing links which are needed for a research we have been including them on screener um for screening a company again this is dependent on what you want as a outcome matlab ye aapko sochna padega ki aapko kis type ki companies dhoondni hai kis type ki opportunities dhoondni hai so like for my dad he is very excited by क्वार्टरली रिजल्ट ही बिलीव की जैसे फार्मिंग में दो सीजन होते हैं यहाँ पे इन्वेस्टिंग में यू गेट फोर अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन अयर एवरी क्वार्टर यू सो ही हेज क्रिएटेड स्क्रीन वेर एन ही वॉन्ट्स टू गेट अलर्ट अबाउट कंपनीज विच हैव ग्रोन एट मे बी थर्टी परसेंट इन सेल्स एंड प्रॉफिट एंड ही वॉन्ट्स टू लुक एट दैम इफ दे आर स्टिल ओके ऑन वैल्यूशन एंड वॉट हेज चेंज फॉर दैम एंड डीप डाइव ऑफ दैट सो दैट्स वॉट ही इज मोर मोस्ट इंटरेस्टेड इन देन दी अदर पैटर्न वी हैव सीन इज की लुक फॉर कंपनीज विच आर डूइंग सम लार्ज एक्सपेंशन 
सो वी हैव क्रिएटेड अ स्क्रीन जहां पे वी हैव पुट अ क्वेरी की अगर किसी का फिक्स एसेट बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ गया है सो यू कैन क्रिएट अ क्वेरी लाइक दैट एंड यू कैन गेट आउटपुट लाइक दैट देन नाउ वी हैव इंट्रोड्यूस्ड अ फीचर वेयर एंड यू कैन फॉलो पीपल सो देयर आर सो मेनी गुड इन्वेस्टर्स फ्रेंड्स आई नो हु डू एक्सीलेंट वर्क एंड यू कैन जस्ट फॉलो देम सो इफ दे हैव मोर देन अ परसेंटेज ऑफ शेयर होल्डिंग एंड एनी कंपनी यू गेट अ अलर्ट ऑन अ क्वार्टरली बेसिस सो दैट इज अनदर वे यू कैन कम अक्रॉस सम ग्रेट आइडियाज सो that's what we do i think matlab there's no fixed way there are so many uh, matlab i have more than at least 5 7 screens that i personally use to get updates i i have subscribed i have alert kept alert for more than 15 20 investors i think to so, mera mailbox aajkal pura bhar jata hai when i get up in the morning it is filled with so many updates from screener so there are so many things that uh, abhi humne ek naya ek aur feature banaya hai like you can set alert for some keywords so like i wanted to look for companies which are doing some preferential allotment or raising capital because that is where the new set of investors come in new growth phase starts and you can set a keyword ki if a company is doing a preferential allotment you get a alert and you can research upon those companies you can set a alert for a keyword like capex so if anywhere there is a capex announcement i get a alert so there are so many ways to find ideas i think right ayush and sachak in, in between if you have any question feel free to comment so so ayush there is one question from siddharth he is asking after your decades of investing experience what are some of the tweaks you have done in your investment process so as to uh, improve the success odds oh i i wish i can improve my success odds but uh, that's very hard uh i think uh, but i can i can share what my journey has been like uh, uh from 2002 to 2008 period there was a time when we were like i shared it was lot of a manual work wherein we we used to just focus only on numbers matlab tab jaise hum log ko train kiya tha dad ne ki capital market magazine mein jao mehnat karo ki kaun si companies hain which have the lowest pe ratio which have the highest growth rate and circle them and bring those 20 30 odd names so that's what we used to do for a small set of companies matlab companies which are less than maybe 3 4 5 thousand crore market cap unhi pe focus karo jinme ye sab attributes hain and bring those names and research upon them so that was the phase where we largely did desk research and uh, kept exploring such kind of companies uh, and that really worked very well it it was very rewarding at that point of time uh, then 2008 9 happened wherein there was a huge huge fall and there was a huge fall in so many mid and small caps matlab mid and small caps would have fallen 70 80 90 percent in so many cases and so many cases there were frauds that came out or there were manipulations that companies were doing in terms of reported numbers and that was the time it was a eye opener wherein i realized that uh, it is important to look at the debt part look at the working capital part look at that the equity part if if that equity is too getting diluted too frequently and those things are happening so that was a different set of learning that happened and uh, and that's where we took took those corrective actions and uh, then there was this next then i got introduced uh, with a very good friend aman thakur he was he is a genius and uh, he taught me why roc is so important look for companies jahan pe on a long term basis roc is more than 25% kind of a number and they have grown and research upon them and for next 2 3 years i think i kept doing only that part and that is where we got so many very very good companies like astral balakrishna mayur so many ajanta so many of them which were actually having those attribute attributes but they were also very very cheap so that was the next phase and then there was a phase when donald and everyone so many value picker friends came in who did huge amount of scuttlebutt going to the agm meeting the competitors meeting um doing so much of ground work that was the scuttlebutt phase wherein we were trying to learn to write companies matlab pehle jo 2002 se 7 8 ka phase tha usme what we used to do is we used to get out very early ki agar humne 5 6 p pe stock liya agar wo 20 p ho gaya just get out no matter what while uh, in this phase we realized that we missed so many winners so the next phase was wherein we are trying to learn more about the business establish why this business is out there why is it superior to others why this has a longevity and try to remain invested for those companies for longer periods of time and then again this 2017 18 happened where a big crash happened and there was again a challenging two year period and we again tried to evolve and learn and i think again there was a phase so today i think i'm trying to do both of undervalued stocks and growth stocks at reasonable valuation so that's what i'm trying to do do and uh, 
uh, I'm trying to be more patient into companies where I feel they are doing the right things, and even if they are not doing well for a year or so, I'm okay to sit through them, which was not the case earlier. All right, Ayush. So, so coming to Pratyush, like, how had been his experience with coding the system, and like, there are questions around the the. I mean, whether uh, any plans of adding technical so as uh, the technical guys can also help from the screener. Yeah, Pratyush. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> yeah. So for uh, for development, we don't think too much. <laughs> we usually I usually see ki what. are my dad and bhai are doing where are they making mistakes what is the time that what are the things that are taking their time jahan pe bhi unka maximum time ja raha hota i try to automate those parts which can be automated uh, regarding technicals they don't use technicals too much so not sure about whether we want to go into that area we are focusing on qualitative aspects more now matlab text ke around abhi bahut kam data hai the data that we already show on screen is mostly on the uh, reported financials the reported numbers numbers which are reported in structured format but unstructured data qualitative aspects wo sab cheeze abhi nahi capture ho rahi and last 3 years that is what we have been trying to develop for example we developed wiki feature where it, we matlab we covered 3000 companies for which we added insights and those insights provide yeah. given overview of the company in 5 minutes and trying to improve those uh, those insights trying to develop that wikipedia kind of thing so that is one side another is matlab indexing all the annual reports con calls announcements so trying to create an index out of that and see what we can develop on those things so uh, uh, those are the things that we are developing mostly and like on top of it like uh, how is there any time lag a time lag between the announcements are available over say bsc nsc and then then you push it to the screener or it's like uh, at the there same point in time slight lag. Lag. no there is a, sl- a slight lag uh, a few minutes i think less than a minute uh, there yeah few minutes Okay, great. So Ayush, I have uh, plenty of questions from many people. I read it out for you, and uh, yeah, we go about it. So Falak Kalyani has a question. Small cap have a tendency that their price uh, run up a lot, say three to five x in a very short span. Do you book profits and exit, or uh, let it ride, or uh, how how you balance as per weight? Yeah, so this is something that is very tough to uh, have a right answer actually because. uh the problem with small and mid cap space is that they can be doing nothing for a long period of time and then in a short period of time they just really run off and you can get a 3 4x so naturally what happens is and and many of them have also had the experience ki a stock went up 5 10x and then it totally collapsed also so you lose all your profit so by by default you want to save safeguard your profit so that is the usual tendency that one has but when i look back into past i see that there were so many interesting companies which were very simple which which like bal krishna polymedicure astro ajanta and their whole set of companies i think in the in the small and mid cap space there's a large large set of companies which which have grown over a very long period of time and they have created a lot of wealth and by trying to protect these gains we many often make this mistake of getting out of those companies very very early like in our case to give you the right example like not one it has been many such cases where we got out very very prematurely matlab we we got in at maybe like astral we got in at 3 400 crore market cap we exited totally at 3 4000 crore market cap and i really feel guilty that it's a 40 50000 crore market cap so what we did despite so much of work it's it's more stupid than being smart so you will have such kind of companies in your portfolio from time to time which are actually very nice and in such companies if you have that bit of a insight comfort around the promoters around the product around the longevity of the business and i think it does make sense to remain put in those kind of companies maybe what one can do is maybe sell a bit when valuations are at some extreme and you get uncomfortable but if you are believing on the story and the longevity then do try to remain there for a long period of time it it can be much much more rewarding because but the bigger mistake that happens is once you get out of a winner you go into something new and you make mistakes that has happened with me lot many time and rather than having that easy compounding or safeguarded story you end up making a mistake which brings you down by 40 50% so 
that's what i feel as of today <laughs> i don't know my views might change again right and ayush like with your permission if if uncle also wants to uh, speak in between for a while and share his experience I would appreciate that and yeah and like coming to next question please feel free to i mean if uncle wants to share his journey and with your permission of course so so uh, i read uh, out next yeah uh, i'm i'm not sure he's joined uh, he's not sitting along with us but he, if he is there maybe he can yeah he is there so uh, if you have a specific question for him you can ask him to yeah yeah i have i have invite invited him so yeah. in the meantime i i have a question for you like this is from kumar saurav so he is asking as you have been small and micro cap investor and your portfolio size grew over time do you need to do any adjustment to investing style including buy sell add reduce and how the and the how why and anything which one needs to learn regarding this um i think uh, yes with time what you uh, like when you start off i think at that time it's natural that you want to look at so, uh, so many opportunities and maybe try to jump in from one thing to another that's very natural and maybe logical also but as you spend more time in markets and as the portfolio becomes bigger it becomes much harder to make those switches and to find good opportunities at bigger sizes so i think that is where that need comes and that is where i when i i used to interact with professor bakshi and i used to sound off my ideas few years back i used to feel that why they don't get encouraged with small companies this and that but then i realized with time that uh, he told me one thing that if you find a opportunity which gives you maybe 30% cagr for next 3 years but then you find a opportunity which gives you 20% cagr for 10 years then choose the other one and that is actually a very very profound thing because by making these switches you are incurring lot of cost of uh, taxation other cost and then the biggest problem of making errors and with time you want to reduce those actions and uh, and other thing is that with time markets are also getting very very efficient today the markets are very very competitive it is not easy to find good ideas at a at a reasonable valuation so if you had something in which you entered early the company is doing the right amount of things then you want to be there you want to let it work out and especially what i've seen is that uh, if if we are in companies which are small then by default they have a huge runway for growth if the management is hard working if they are interested in the business if they are having good products so opportunity size ka to koi issue hi nahi hai matlab if if they are having a decent balance sheet management intent then they can grow so it is more about our own patience rather than um, um, doubting and switching from opportunities uh, the nia way has a question for a, for pratyush uh, he is asking how one can build cc ccp type screener for allocating some part of capital so basically he is referring to consistent compounder portfolio sort of thing uh i don't know matlab ki uh, uh, bhaiya will provide a better way on how he uses the screens uh, there are few pre made screens around matlab screen pe bahut sari screens pehle se bani hai around magic formula uh, 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 coffee can investing so those are few pre created screens i haven't tried them personally uh, but they might be matlab few good screens out there so on screener there are more than 1 lakh screens created by people and there's a search option and you can go and try to search for those keywords that you are looking for and uh, maybe you will get some very good screens that people have created which works for you all right and and like uh, there is one question from ashutosh kavishkar he is asking how do you analyze micro cap and nano cap companies as there is not much information available such as con call transcript and how do you judge promoters integrity do you personally visit the company's plant or, and do ground research and if yes how can small retailer uh, retail investors can do so yeah it's a good question uh, uh, first of all i think uh, uh, for more than 70% of the companies also i think we don't go meet them or visit them it's only a desk research that is being done and honestly from a desk research you can do 
better equally better if not better or maybe even better than what you can do by doing all the ground research so like our mentors i know my like dr omkar singh uh, hitesh bhai from baroda my dad they all these people have never even tried visiting a company or do doing something yet they have done fabulously well in their careers um uh, so uh, to go about this research when a company is small and they are not having putting out much detail in the annual report basically there are lots of other details which are out there so why we brought in credit reports because many of in these credit reports have insights which are very very useful uh, then today you can go on linkedin you can try to search about employees what kind of employees this company has what uh, you can try to uh, see what kind of talent this company is building then you can try to lay your hands on a industry magazine and you'll get some insights on that about a product about the promoter about some article that you can find googling about that company keywords something like that is really really helpful then there are lots of government websites today you can go on a environmental uh, uh, clearance website you can find if a company has filed for environmental clearance find more about that project expansion all those datas so i think there's no limitation the focus should be to try to understand what this company is making uske product mein aisa kya unique hai jisme usko itna competition nahi aayega there's some tailwind that is out there so if somebody is doing something interesting in a industry which is growing but obvious that there's a success rate which is more favorable to him and then you can try to make sense it from the reported numbers if the reported numbers the story all those things are matching that is how you get your confidence basically um about the promoters i think it is more about um it's very tough to judge people i think that's very very hard to do even by meeting you can't judge them <laughs> and uh, so i think their actions are more valuable than other things so like uh, to give us a simple example like when dr omkar singh our mentor he shared about polymedico 10 12 years back the only thing that he, he emphasized was that one this is a company which has a product which is very much needed and will continue to grow it's a medical disposable then the promoters he said that here are two young chaps in their early 30s and uh, one of them had was in boston uh, uh, scientific so he has left his high paying us job come to india trying to do something in manufacturing that's a tough task and uh, similarly in other companies like mps when this macmillan publishing got took over by nishita roda at that time there were very little details people were very skeptical ki abhi kya hoga business mein kaise change hoga past was very bad but the guy who was coming in was hard harvard educated very very qualified guy with very good board he was creating so many often those small small insights are more valuable in a micro cap than many other things so either it has to be about the product about the company about the promoter something that has to click to you and then you have to make sense of that story with the numbers this is what we feel right and in continuation the, with the same questions so shubham biswal has a question like what are the some of the things which can be ignored in small and micro caps um i think uh, the, uh, in reference to corporate governance overall he is asking i mean maybe related party and overall yeah including so, the corporate so many open in so many often small cap may there will be some issues or the other for sure matlab that's why many often they remain cheap for a long period of time what happens is that there will be some kind of forensic one will do and will come out with data ki you know this is wrong that is wrong and um, i've seen it so many time that when the company is small bahut se defects hote hain bahut si shortcomings hoti hain but when they grow if the business really becomes valuable it it grows to a certain point all those things get taken care of i don't know why it happens but it happens so ignorable are things like uh, a promoter taking out high salary i think that's something i've been very okay uh, though i get furious i feel bad about it i want to write to the company and say that please change it but uh, i feel the other way of thinking is at least he's taking out money in a transparent manner there are so many ways he'll take out money and you'll never come to know and the other way to think is that the profit margins are even higher than what they are reporting because uh, this gets expensed out so uh, you can ignore such kind of things maybe um, other things are like related party what i think what is more important is if you come to know about these issues then try to question them and many often i have seen that there is a logical reason why those issues are out there for example we have been invested in bharat rasayan that company has some unlisted companies which are in agrochemical and people used to be very negative about those things that why they have those two three entities but later you realize that okay it's a large family and they have kept things in a transparent manner and they have not grown at the at the 
uh, they have not done any any wrong doing in terms of growing that unlisted company too much or something like that and you have to live with it and uh, be okay with it uh, while it has backfired also for me many often i've been too casual on these things like in kitex it was a big big uh, um, the story just collapsed uh, and maybe i was too too confident on the people the business that i i didn't care about the corporate governance issue like the com- pr- promoter having unlisted entity he getting into politics and those things just kept growing and didn't get ever addressed so at some point i think the general rule i have is that if a company is very cheap on numbers if it is reporting good numbers if if that underlying thing is very good then i'm okay to ignore these things because uh, the odds of things working out is much more but if a company is if a stock is kind of very fancied if it is staying at a high valuation and these things are there and they are not getting addressed then maybe it's a very big red flag and it's not right to ignore them because these are the things which blow up when when the tide turns back so this is a framework that i have been trying to adopt and uh, i don't know if this answers the question but yeah maybe yeah it does uh, we have a question from sahil sharma he he is asking like how do you understand the competitive advantages of a company how do you measure or figure out its pricing power hello am i audible ayush uh no it went away can you repeat the question please yeah yeah so he was asking like how do you understand the competitive advantages of a company how do you measure or figure out its pricing power with respect to its suppliers buyers and competitors uh so honestly first of all sail uh, uh hats off to you the kind of work you do i am i'm a big fan the amount of enthusiasm and the hard work you do i think uh, after a long time i'm seeing someone who does so much of work so i mean all of all of your work uh, uh keep sharing your work uh, the questions you are asking honestly i'm not that that hard a worker i don't focus too much on, on these things rather our focus more remains on uh getting things early trying to have that margin of safety by way of numbers by way of undervaluation and many often by way of numbers we have been able to make more meaning to it for example um uh, uh like in the case of shivalik biometal it's a stock we both have been invested in have got... i'm audible hello yeah yeah you are audible actually okay you... yeah go ahead yeah so i was saying that uh, there's a common company we both have been invested and we have this discussion earlier like uh, shivalik biometal that company uh, used to have very good Uh, all, all even today has very very high operating margins and that good operating margins have been there for a long time so many people want these answers before ki competitive advantage kya hai why these margins are there while with me it is the other way around i i just like to take it a bit easy that okay if these margins are out there then there would be something that this company would be doing is special and i will slowly make effort to understand more of it and if these numbers sustain then i believe more in in that part of story so uh uh that's how i think about it about doing work i think naturally what one can do is like listed space is a big space there are 4 5000 companies so once you come across a company doing something interesting you have to look for other companies in that sector are there more companies doing something similar if yes then it's a highly competitive area it can't be something unique so that's how you go about researching like uh, um um if if a company is making very good money in a product for a long period of time and no competition is coming in then of course we need to spend more time and question why why others are not able to enter that space and that is where we get those insights so it doesn't starts at the start but in some reasonable time you get some insights which um uh, give you those answers and many often these answers may be valid for 2 3 years 5 years and then they <laughs> reverse like in the case of shilpa medicare i think they were the earliest in oncology they did very well for a long time and but then the competition came in so it's it's a evolving thing with time that happens but we need to keep doing a work to figure these things out and the best way is if you see too many players especially in the listed space we'll get answers matlab agar dusre log bhi us business mein ghus pa rahe hain aur bahut log aate ja rahe hain it will get more competitive the margins will come down the pricing uh, the entry barriers have been collapsed while if that is not happening and there's one company doing all that stuff or just two three companies doing that stuff then you are you are in a good space i think 
right uh, in furtherance to the question he is asking like we typically on uh, say 15 to 50 stocks right so hame like on the basis of various uh, pointers like valuation growth competitive advantage industry structure so how do we uh, i mean ensure low churn because the set of best 50 say keeps on changing right the cho- uh, the churn is low mm mm-hmm. I I uh, couldn't get the question. So well, basically, he is asking. Man, lo, itni sari companies hain. You identify say fifteen hmm. to fifty stocks out of that. Or usme bhi jo uh, stocks apne hmm. identify kare hain, usme bhi uh, the good ones keep on changing. So hmm. how to ensure ki ham hmm. minimum churn me uh, possibly us cheez ko handle kar paaye? Again, uh, see the objective of churn shouldn't be that we have to churn. Karna hai. So, I mean, you have to try not to churn. But if you find a better opportunity, then it makes sense to switch. There is no too much of fixation on something, and that will only happen when you keep working off on new ideas. I mean, what happens with time is that uh, you are researching on something, and then you find something which is more interesting, and that is where you make some switches. Uh, the idea to have a lower churn. Any thoughts, Pratyush? होल्डिंग Right. Is it out? It underperforms a certain company that that you are finding attractive, and it does outperform for one one odd year. But how do you like you know like maintain that decision of you know holding the company that you are still holding yeah, where the level it. of growth could be higher? Got it. Got it. So first of all, we are not focused on the stock price return. First, मतलब I I'm actually very surprised when I see people. looking at stock price return on a very frequent basis i think that has nothing to do with the fundamentals of a company stock price can change for so many reasons and uh, that is a large part of it is just the sentiment and popularity of a stock so the effort again and again is to try to understand a company well enough um and actually actually this is the problem that one lands into like astral me kya hua beech me there was a period of one or two year when the company was not growing well enough and i thought ki a 30 p hai अब तो बहुत हो गया कंपनी ग्रो भी नहीं कर रही एंड देर वॉर सम इश्यूज दैट लिब्रिजोल टाइप वॉज ब्रेकिंग एंड आई एक्सिटेड एंड दैट वॉज अ वेरी वेरी कॉस्टली मिस्टेक सो जस्ट बिकॉज कंपनीज डोंट परफॉर्म फॉर अ ईयर और टू ईयर एंड यू गेट आउट आई थिंक दैट्स द मिस्टेक वी डू वेन 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 दी स्टोरी समथिंग यूनिक एंड द रन वे इज लॉन्ग सो हाउ नॉट टू डू दैट मिस्टेक आई थिंक वन इज कीप डूइंग सम होमवर्क ऑन दैट कंपनी एज टू वाई that company is unique why that products are unique why the growth opportunity is out there or maybe keep interacting with some people who are who are working on this company and they are able to share some interesting insights on the future optionalities out there and don't be focused too much on return i think that is the only way you can save it like there's a saying i think the best investors are who are dead so <laughs> i i think activity is what uh, hits us i think at times but i do, do you, don't you think like you know the, the luxury that an investor has vis-a-vis an entrepreneur is that they have the luxury to enter a stock when you know the growth basically ticks in like for example astral let's let's take this example so so my question to you would be let's say what stopped you from re-entering astral when let's say this you know when let's say market proved you wrong that the lubrizol thing that you know thing that for which you exited is actually not the right one and you know the yeah. stocks again started performing so how do you, how do you deal with this because i think it's a very common thing that we all face so i think uh, first is uh, uh, there are two three things to it one there's a confidence that we'll be able to figure out things when they when they when they are evolving so fast and some of that doesn't happen to us we were not able to figure out that this is a company which has such a long runway uh, one is that biggest mistake second i think practically honestly when it comes to executing it is very tough to re-enter a stock that you have sold at 1000 and buying it again at 1500 2000 piece that is something very very tough and markets are actually very smart wherein they they re-read the success stories very very quickly so 
by the time you realize okay i made a mistake the stock will go from 1000 to 1500 and the valuation will go from 30 to 50p and then you will say okay up to 50 60p ho gaya it is at the other end of the valuation and maybe we, it is already discounting the positives that i am seeing today so those kind of arguments i fall into and i am never able mostly i have missed the stories after selling out it's not easy to re enter and that is the common thing i have seen with many of the peers uh, i know of once you have got out the stock you lose sight of it you stop tracking it or what happens that your money gets allocated to something else and you are more inclined to it to aapko wo zyada acha lagne lagta hai bajaye iske and uh, that's what practically happens i think i think i don't have a right answer because i have not been able to re enter into stocks when they start doing well again so that has not happened with me Right. Thank you. 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 Thank Twilight years. Okay, he is asking my question is having shortlisted stocks through screener. Is there a way the portfolio of shortlisted stocks can be stored in screener, and their performance can be monitored? Mm-hmm. So uh, there is an option to download the results of a screen. One can click on that export button and save that CSV. And after some time. Uh, one can just well download that list again uh, so there is an option to import that list also so create a new watch list import that list of stocks and download them again so it will give today's price as well and then we can compare the two excel sheets that's one of the ways to do it in excel uh, there is no automated way to do it in screener currently all right fair enough so there is one question from ishmohit he is asking your views on uh, portfolio allocation can anyone who is starting with a low base only does investing for a living be very diversified to get non linear returns from market or to know few things extremely well and then concentrate no aish mohit uh, first of all uh, i like to appreciate the work you do i think you are doing a fabulous job the kind of videos and the learning education things that you put out i think matlab uh, had we got access to them earlier we might have done better but uh, you're doing a great service to people and uh, uh, the kind of insights that you bring out are actually pretty amazing so i think uh, there are very few people i know in my network uh, who have been very concentrated investors and they have actually done very very well so if you are a concentrated investor then actually matlab what will happen you will have a disproportionate outcome um and there are people like donald anant um uh yosel sahil so there there are people i know uh, uh, kiran dhanwada so there are people who have had a very very concentrated portfolio but when i look at them they they are very smart in investing and doing their homework when they when they invest into some certain things they are on top of the things for most of the time like kuch bhi agar mere ko puchna hota hai ye kya ho raha hai i'll reach out to them and they are on top of things so first thing is that you need to know yourself so i am not that kind of a person i am kind of very very lazy i when it comes to investing i'm very very relaxed i don't want to um, do too much of hard work about uh, researching on new product kya hai ye kya kar rahi hai wo kya kar rahi hai and i'm kind of relaxed it it comes slowly to me uh so i think it's a mindset that one needs to be aware of at the same time a diversified investor can also do very very well i think i know lots of diversified investors safir is out there for us and similarly i know many people in my network who have done very well of course the percentage of compounding will be lower but then what's the hurry i think matlab ek ek kahawat hai matlab that told us ki matlab sar salamat hoga to pagdi hazar milegi so again and again the idea is to survive idea is that we will make mistakes in this market again and again and many often i make terrible mistakes and usually they have not hurt me too much because those allocations were small and i could sell and i could get out and i was not too depressed after making those mistakes i was like okay theek hai ho gayi and try to learn from it but if you were a very concentrated investor then i have seen i have known such people who 
were concentrated investors, but they got out from the market after two, three years because they got bored. Their stocks didn't work out. What they were thinking never worked out. So what is more, more costly? I don't know. So I think it's a, it's a, it depends on individual. If you are very confident on the work you're doing, if you really believe you are on top of things, maybe it will, it works for you. But it's a, it's a bit of a riskier and a more effortful thing. You will have to work in, work out. all the time on those companies i think yeah great and i i see many experts and familiar faces in the attendees so please feel free or let me know if you were to make some comment or have any questions to ayush and pratyush so so ayush uh, kaushik you can quickly unmute and ask your question hey thanks prince uh, hi ayush uh, this is kaushik i just wanted to understand uh, do screener have anything like uh, to capture the capex uh, announcement or like any keyword on such this no yeah you are audible but i cannot uh, listen to ayush ayush you still there i think some issue with the uh, ayush ayush if you could uh, listen to us can you please check with your connection we are not able to hear you Uh, he got dropped. Uh, perhaps he'll be joining again soon. So please be there. And guys, in the meantime, please feel free to send in a speaker request. We can take few speakers and comments. Please, we already have so many questions. So if you are writing down your questions, I may miss some of them, but I try to cover maximum out of them. And and if there are stock specific questions, then obviously I have to give it a pass. Yeah. हेलो प्रिंस हाय सर गुड गुड इवनिंग कैसे हैं आप बहुत बढ़िया सर बहुत बढ़िया एंड सर थैंक्स फॉर ज्वाइनिंग एंड इन द मीन टाइम सर आपसे अनुरोध है कि आप भी अपनी जर्नी के बारे में हमें कुछ बताएं और आपकी मोटिवेशन से ही मतलब कम्युनिटी को इतने बड़ा हेल्प मिला है दोनों भाइयों की वजह से सो ऑल क्रेडिट गोज टू यू सर नहीं जब तक आयुष नहीं आयुष में अलग जगह बैठा हूँ जब तक आयुष की आवाज नहीं आती मैंने कहा लाइए मैं इसको फिल 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 अप कर देता हूँ एक्चुअली होता क्या है एक भी अगर आपको सक्सेस मिल जाती छोटी ना तो उससे आपका कॉन्फिडेंस बहुत बढ़ रहा होता है तो शुरू में तो हम लोग शेयर मार्केट में बहुत डरते थे मेरे फादर भी थोड़ा बहुत इन्वेस्ट करते थे हेलो आवाज आ रही है आपको जी बिल्कुल सर बिल्कुल बोलिए हाँ जी मैं तब का बता रहा हूँ नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फाइव का जबकि हमारे फादर थोड़ा बहुत इन्वेस्ट उनके शेयर थे कोरोमंडल फर्टिलाइजर था नाम उसका पता नहीं क्या नाम था कोरोमंडल इंटरनेशनल था ऐसे कुछ नाम था जो कि अब कोरोमंडल इंटरनेशनल ही क्या नाम है उसके तो उस वक्त में एनुअल रिपोर्ट वगैरह आती थी तो मैंने एक पहला शेयर लगाया था अम्बा लाल सारा भाई बहुत डरते हुए नाइनटीन की बात है पब्लिक इशू आया था जब आपको एक सक्सेस मिल जाती है आपके कैलकुलेशंस के हिसाब से उससे ज्यादा मिल जाती है इसमें तो तो बड़ा कॉन्फिडेंस आता है फिर आप उसी स्टोरी को रिपीट करते चल जाते हैं तो इस तरीके से हम लोग को छोटी छोटी सक्सेस मिल रही होती है वो है कहावत है ना नथिंग सक्सेस लाइक सक्सेस तो सक्सेस को सही डायरेक्शन में पकड़ना और उसको वही चीज हो रही होती है कि आप सिस्टमेटिकली जब चीजों को पकड़ रहे होते हैं स्टडी करके थोड़ा धीमे चल रहे होते हैं और आपको स्पीड मिलती जाती है सक्सेस मिलती जाती है तो बड़ा कॉन्फिडेंस आता है हेलो आवाज आ रही है आपको बिल्कुल सर बोलिए नहीं आएगी तो बीच में हम आपको बताएंगे हाँ तो इसी तरह से हम लोग ने कहा जाए मैं हम लोग का तो बहुत ही सेकेंडरी बिजनेस था और हम लोग ने बस पार्ट टाइम लिया था और जो छोटी छोटी मैं तो कहता हूँ हर एक आदमी इसको टेकअप कर सकता है कहा जाना वो चेंज ऑफ ऑक्यूपेशन इज रिलेक्सेशन हमने तो जैसे रिलैक्सेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से टेकअप करा था शुरू में और वास्तव में रिलैक्सेशन के साथ साथ कहा जाए इतना एंजॉय करा है कि हर वक्त इसको उस तरह से लेके चलें बिल्कुल लाइट हो मतलब कहा जाए कि इसमें कभी भी ओवर आप बर्डन नहीं लेंगे तो बड़ा मजा आएगा <laughs> और छोटी छोटी जब चीजें मिलती ना कि अरे इसमें इतनी एनर्जी है तो बड़ा मजा आ रहा होता है जब आप पूरे मार्केट को करते हैं उसके बाद कोई अच्छी आपको मिल जाता है तो उसमें बड़ा थ्रिल आता रही तो जैसे कोई फुटबॉल खेल रहा पूरी पिच खाली मिल गई कोई क्रिकेट खेल रहा है आपको ऐसी बॉल मिल रही कि आप फिट करते जा रहे हैं कितना मजा आता है <laughs> इस तरीके से होता रहता है मेरे ख्याल से तो ये बहुतों के लिए अगर वो ग्रेजुअली सीखना शुरू करें तो उन्हें बस जो छोड़े ना इसको बीच में 
आयुष कहाँ चले गए भाई आवाज नहीं आ रही उनकी <laughs> आयुष आयुष सुन रहे सर आपको तो सर एक 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 हाँ बताइए आप कुछ पूछते हैं जी बिल्कुल सर बिल्कुल जो आपका चालीस बयालीस साल का अनुभव रहा है तो उसमें आपने मतलब बहुत चीजें बदलती हुई देखी हैं बट कुछ ऐसी चीजें आप बताना चाहें जो वैसी की वैसी है और एक तो आपने बताया कि वी हैव टू स्टे द कोर्स विच इज ग्रेट एडवाइस फॉर एवरी बट अगेन उसके अलावा आपको कुछ एड करना हो सर मैं तो ये देखता हूँ मेरे को बड़ा ये रहता है कि चांद की जब भी रिजल्ट आते हैं ना तो उसमें इतने बढ़िया आइडियाज मिल रहे होते हैं कि और कोई देखने वाला नहीं होता है समझिए कि बिल्कुल ही टर्न अराउंड स्टोरीज निकल रही होती हैं उसके बाद हम बैलेंस शीट को जब देखते हैं पीछे तो पता चलता मैनेजमेंट ने सब बोल रखा है कि हमारा इतना अच्छा आएगा ये अच्छा आएगा तो लगता है अरे भाई इसने बोला है अब हम इसको ज्वाइन कर लेते उसमें क्या जाता है बल्कि अब ये सीजन एक महीना रहेगा रिजल्ट का तो इसमें जो रिजल्ट्स अच्छे आते हैं आदमी उसका थोड़ा सा भी शेयर लेकर उसको क्या कहते हैं एनालाइज करेगा तो उसकी एनुअल रिपोर्ट पढ़ेगा या उसके बारे में वेबसाइट खोलेगा तो अपने आप ही लगेगा इसमें तो कोई डर ही नहीं है बिल्कुल सर बिल्कुल आयुष सर सर अभी इस टाइम इस टाइम पे जिस हिसाब से बाजार है आपको क्या लग रहा है कहाँ पे आपको लग रहा है की यहाँ तो डर ही नहीं है मतलब कंपनी स्पेसिफिक है देखिए अगर आपने वही बात है ना कि अगर आपको कम आता है तो आप गहरे पानी में मत तो तेरी स्विमिंग नहीं आती है लेकिन आप कम पानी में लेकिन जो नया सीखने वाला उसको भी बड़ा मजा आता है हर चीज में मजा आ रहा होता है चाहे क्रिकेट हो चाहे स्विमिंग हो चाहे फुटबॉल हो कोई भी चीज है आपको है कि नहीं कहा जाए जो बिल्कुल ही शुरू में होता है वो तो बड़ा बहुत ही एक्साइटिंग होता है बाकी जब टफ हो रहा होता है तब ज्यादा दिक्कत लग रही होती है हर चीज में राइट ऐसी कोई सेक्टर दिख रहे जनरली तो मैंने ये देखा की जब पंद्रह बीस साल की कंपनियां हो जाती है एक समय ऐसा होता है वो स्ट्रगल करते करते जब स्ट्रॉन्ग हो जाती है फिर वो लड़ना सीख जाती है तो उसके बाद वो बहुत ही रिवॉर्ड कर रही होती है ऊपर से कहा जाए इन्फ्लेशन के मारे हर चीज के दाम बढ़ रहे होते हैं कोई प्लांट आज से दस साल पहले लगा होता है पता चला पचास करोड़ का लगा है तो आज सौ करोड़ में लग रहा होता है तो कहा जाए तमाम कंपनी ऐसी होती है जो बहुत ही सस्ती होती है अगर आज आपके वैल्यूशन देखेंगे इतने महंगे शेयर्स के वैल्यूशन है कि पूछिए मत पुराने शेयर तमाम इतने सस्ते सस्ते हो रहे होते कि पूछिए नहीं इनको जी बिल्कुल सर थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर योर वैल्यूएबल इनपुट सर एंड बीच बीच में आप अपना इनपुट देते रहे सो आयुष कौशिक हैड अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम यू सो ज्वाइन करो हां पापा ज्वाइन कर लो टू आयुष हां हैंड ओवर टू आयुष सर Thanks sir for your uh, uh, presence here. Uh, hi Aish sir and hi Satya sir. Uh, sir, I just wanted to understand. Uh, uh, majority of the time we find companies who have actually announced and their capex has been taking on. But is there any screen that in screener where we can see uh, the capex announcement? The keyword of announcement only can be captured. Yeah. Um, uh, hi everyone. First of all, uh, sorry we got dropped off in between. uh some network issue was there i think and uh, yeah the tish uh, so uh, screener mein ek humne ne ek feature banaya hai ki jisme aap keyword alert set uh, search kar sakte hain you can search for companies for a particular keyword so once you go inside um, uh, uh on this screener if you uh, uh latest announcements there is a tab of latest announcements on the right side uske andar we can add custom matlab uh, uh, custom tabs for the keywords that we want to track so in in that you can set a alert for keyword like capex expansion capex or expansion and already we have created those tabs you can just go click on it and set alert get email alert so next time there is a announcement by any company that they are undertaking a capex or expansion and they shared any details you will get an email update of it the next day sure thanks for that and and one more question sir like uh, i was also part in shivlik biometal uh, uh, i think uh, in march and uh, uh, june july of uh, 2020 uh, i knew that uh, uh, because the management was uh, uh, not so friendly was not allowing us to even attend their uh, uh, plant or anything but how did you manage to get an uh, opportunity or like uh, what happened uh, and what was your story behind uh, shivlik biometal 
if it is possible uh, to not, answer i would yeah. i have not visited the plant yet they have never allowed anyone they are very secretive about everything that they are doing and uh, but uh, i think uh, the only thing is that we have kept uh, pursuing it for more than 5 6 years now first time i we invested in 2017 and thanks to a friend pratik choudhary he was the one i think who first time brought this stock to notice and he was the one who shared that okay here's a company who is building on a new product which is very interesting and it it gets used in ev and thanks to professor bakshi i had attended some of his class where and he had shared that you know how the ev will all of a sudden evolve in next 5 years and uh, uh, and he told us some frameworks to think ki matlab you know uh, uh, no matter if you are a valuation and a valuation guy if there's a company which is in traditional engine thing and the valuation are looking cheap don't fall that for that trap because the sales may fall off the cliff when the adoption happens and markets are smart and if there is something which is going to be the next big trend if you get something interesting in it then try to understand it and participate in it so that was something that clicked on my mind at that time and i pursued four five such companies which were doing something on the ev side and uh, uh, as we spend more time and management used to open up at the agm at the they meet only at the agm and at agms they answer anything that you ask so they have always shared that they have been making a product which which is unique they are the only ones in india doing that product they are the only ones making shunts uh, the kind of customers they have are billion dollar companies vishay and all those kind of customers they have got and they are those companies are having patented products which are going in battery management system and ev batteries so that was something that sounded interesting to me and uh, our team and we felt that okay let's part participate and uh, uh so that has been the story here i think and we have just continued to monitor ride it as the company has continued to grow and uh, but in between there was a very challenging period like what you talked about in 2018 19 i think there was a slow down the company went through a tough phase for two three quarters and then in that time then covid happened and the stock fell 70 80% so that is the kind of challenge that one faces in a small and mid cap today it looks very easy but going through through those falls and turbulent times when you don't have any answers management is not responsive i think that's what one has to um, tackle and go through and um, keep doing some work at those times i think there's no right answer to explain how it happens but i think uh, uh, some consistent work some consistent small small insights is what adds up in the whole story that's what i feel thanks for that <coughs> Thanks, thanks. I have another question on. Koshik uh, will will come to you. Sorry, sir. Okay. We okay. already have so many questions. Sorry for that. Well, if time allows, I'll come to you. So, Kumar sir, uh, you you have any questions or comments to make? Uh... So, Ayesh Bhai, first uh, thanks to you and uh, Satya Uncle for gracing us with uh, you know the time and sharing insights. Two question, Ayesh Bhai. एक तो बिकॉज आई हैव ट्रैक यू आई बिलीव देर यू स्टिक टू योर इन्वेस्टमेंट्स लाइक इफ आई टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पॉलीमेड यू नो देर वॉज अ इनिशियल साइकिल वेन द स्टॉक डिड वेरी वेल टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन टू फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन एंड देन थ्री इयर्स द स्टॉक डिड इन परफॉर्म एंड देन पोस्ट कोविड अगेन यू नो थिंग्स आर गुड इन टर्म्स ऑफ ग्रोथ सो इवन वेन द स्टॉक्स आर नॉट ग्रोइंग uh i i believe many times you stick to your investment and you do it where you know everybody is like technical at top ban gaya nikal jao what makes you hold to your investments uh, that is question number 1 and second in irrespective of uh, under performance sometimes and the second question is more around your journey and evolution as an investor and you have been investing in small caps and micro caps and i'm sure you know the way you know last 15 20 years you have grown i'm sure the portfolio size would have grown multiple times and in india especially in small caps the illiquidity to buy and sell those become issues so any kind of adjustment you needed to do in your investing uh, just because of the issues of portfolio size and illiquidity and how to handle it and if there are certain learnings you want to share these two questions i have uh hi saurabh uh, first of all again uh, i would like to tell everyone that saurabh is one extraordinary person uh if you follow his work you'll be amazed he is a person i think he was in it he has a it background he is a data scientist and he has developed a passion for investing and the kind of work he does i think crazy matlab and that's what i was talking about you know this field is something where you'll be shocked what people are doing the kind of hard work they do the kind of insights they bring and they share it without any 
any benefit to them or with any objective so saurabh is another such guy and uh, he keeps uh, sharing very interesting stuff on value picker and on youtube channel very so i'm a fan and i would recommend everyone to follow him uh, saurabh i think uh, what happens is that I, uh, first of all polymedicure may we have been fella matlab we had a very good position in 2007 and over the periods we have sold maybe because of this frustration like you talked about ki 2013 to 15 was a period when the stock went nowhere and it was kind of frustrating and being a mark, uh, investor in markets full time every day you see your company doing nothing fallen off nothing great happening you do tend to get frustrated in yourself some but those were mistakes actually because in this case as we know in hindsight this was an excellent company with excellent products so why i could stay i think the only answer is again the insights on the product and management matlab while i was doing so much of work i learned from other people that what are the qualities of this company a, a product like medical disposable which gets into your vein a iv cannula is something which nobody will try it has a very very big entry barrier and stickiness as a business so once the company has been able to establish a brand distribution in a product like this and become a leader it's a very very valuable thing but there are periods when the company is not growing and then you begin to doubt the company at the same time you like the company so you try to remain there without doing too much thoda bahut bech diya maybe trying to save your position that's what we do did then in i think in 2020 or something we could buy again because the stock was not doing anything but on a pe basis it had come down to very reasonable valuations of 17 18 20 so that was the time you get to benefit out of that learning that you have had for so many years because you are now more aware about the company you are more aware about the management you are more comfortable on it and you can take that reaction again so that is why i try to if i believe that a company is good the products are good then i try to be there even if there's a drawdown even if the stock price has fallen i may be able to do some trade of 20% of my position that's it i won't sell beyond that until unless i feel there's a big issue in the company itself so that's what i'm trying to do um, and if if again i find and every 3 5 years the markets go into some problem or the other and stocks fall 50% so next time that happens i try to buy more into those kind of companies where i'm comfortable so this is what i've been trying to do um, at times it works at time it doesn't i don't have a good answer to it about the portfolio thing that you asked i think uh, uh, our portfolio is very small there's no such issues like you Uh, talked about this market is a ocean you can do so many things what you need to do is you need to keep learning and keep evolving as you grow and uh, uh, and today people are blessed to have so many youtube channels wherein excellent people are coming and sharing so much of good stuff out there so you can learn from others like monish pabrai says you can clone people shamelessly in this and it and it helps you i think and but but uh, Uh, at the core i think we are very comfortable being a diversified investor we feel that in india there are too many good companies out there we just need to be more open and flexible towards them and we need to have our own independent thought that okay here's a company which has had a good history deep dive if you like it be patient and work more upon it many often you will get on to insights which are different from the market and they will be the reason why you should be into that stocks for longer term and if you're right it will be very very rewarding over a longer period Thanks, thanks for the kind words and thanks a lot for sharing your insights, Ayush Bhai. Thank you. Thank you, Kumar. So, Jitain sir, over to you. Hi, Ayush. So nice to hear from you and Uncle also. Uh, some very valuable insights. Uh, I have a question for you. I mean, I am also you know in the similar situation in that sense that fairly diversified portfolio. Uh, but uh, the the problem i i also have had and i'm trying to deduce that is you know how do you position size when you have uh, so many stocks and all that i mean i am trying to uh, you know uh, increase the positions in the in the core stocks and all that but uh, i would still like to know your thoughts that you know where do you, when do you feel that you uh, let's you know of the many examples you've given do you feel that you know if i would have had a bigger position in those uh, it would have helped or you know what are your thoughts just to understand that you know diversified portfolios always have a issue with 
uh, position size. So how how do you tackle that, and what are your thoughts? <laughs> Hi, Jitin. Bye. First of <laughs> all, आप खुद इतने बढ़िया investor हैं आपको कुछ इसमें व्यू शेयर करने की मेरे को जरूरत नहीं है यू आर अ मास्टर इन इट सेल्फ इन हैविंग अ डाइवर्सिफाइड पोर्टफोलियो डूइंग इट वेरी वेल एंड यू डू इट वेरी ब्यूटीफुली बाय बीइंग एबल टू कट पोजीशंस व्हेन देयर इज एक्सपीरियंस एंड बाइंग व्हेन देयर इज पेसिमिज्म आई डोंट हैव दैट मच ऑफ गट्स टू डू इट वेल इनफ बट आई ट्राई टू लर्न फ्रॉम यू एंड जस्ट टू शेयर व्हाट वी डू एट आवर एंड आई थिंक मेनी ऑफन व्हेन वी गेट अ न्यू आईडिया वी ट्राई टू start very small until unless we are very very convinced on it so many often the startup position may even be 0.2% 0.5% of the portfolio but that's how we start and that is done with the objective to keep reading on that company for next 6 months matlab 6 mahine saal bhar to lag jata in understanding a company how the cycles are what they are doing getting some comfort getting more insights so that is what happens with us and uh, uh, as you get more insights you try to scale uh, so again this scalability thing is based on new fundamental insights that you get new confidence that you get it depends many often on the feedback so i've been very lucky that you know this whole value picker network and so many friends and peers that i have they many often will reach out and share some of the good work they have done and that is what gives you the confidence so if i'm getting a positive feedback loop on a company that i've started researching upon invested in it increases my confidence and i end up buying more at the same time many often i've been fortunate that people tell me boss ye sab isme galat hai and you missed all this and that is the time you take a step back and you cut down on your positions coming to this thing ki winners mein aapko lagta hoga ki kyun allocate nahi kiya yes see stock market mein hamesha hi regret hai regret of not buying more regret of not selling timely so i think we have to get over it we have to learn to be happy and satisfied uh what we could buy at that time was due to the limitation on the confidence we had the insights we had so it's our own fault if we didn't buy more and there's no point of thinking i wish i would have loaded up more wo hamesha feeling aati hai but i think it's better not to have regrets market is rewarding it is more important to have a process which rewards you so if you are able to find good companies again and again that is a more satisfying experience like that was saying ki agar aapko jaise ek ek ball khelna aa gaya to aap cricket match khel loge बट अगर आप आउट ही हो जाओगे तो आप कैसे मैच खेलोगे सो इट इज मोर अबाउट एंजॉइंग दिस गेम एंड बीइंग एबल टू हैव अ प्रोसेस बाय व्हिच यू कैन कम अक्रॉस गुड विनर्स अगेन एंड अगेन सो हैविंग टेन विनर्स इज मोर वैल्यूबल देन हैविंग अ वन विनर इज व्हाट आई फील मतलब वंस इफ यू कैन गेट लकी वंस ओके बट इफ कैन गेट सक्सेसफुल मेनी ऑफ देन यू आर गेटिंग यू आर बिल्डिंग अ फ्रेमवर्क टू योर सेल्फ एक्सीलेंट आयुष आई मीन दैट्स व्हाट आई थिंक आई मीन अपार्ट फ्रॉम यू नो generating returns and uh, you know uh, making wealth i think the satisfaction of uh, you know unearthing uh, many winners over a period of time i think that is also very very important uh, and which is not you know basically quantified enough the 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 satisfaction and uh, you know the the uh, the belief in your process which uh, makes you do this uh, so i mean i have also had similar kind of you know situations and uh, i can fully relate what you're telling and uh, uh, excellent work you guys are doing i mean i must uh, congratulate you and pratyush very much for screener i mean it is something which is is a gold mine for uh, investors i mean the first resource which uh, we would go to uh, any time so uh, heads off to you guys and good to see so many friends here uh, that's all i can say thank you thank you jitin bhai and very well put by you matlab jo aapne kaha actually this is the truth ki it's not about returns actually i think it's more about um, the work we all keep doing and the learning we get when we find a new company a new sector we get to learn so much and that's the excitement that happens we also have safir sir safir sir over to you yeah hi good evening everybody Uh, I wanted to share with you a personal experience that I have experienced with the Mittal. So I'm calling them the Mittal because I like all three of them. I mean, I don't <laughs> all three of them. I've got different uh, qualities, and that is a very comprehensive thing. It's like the, it's like my own family. So there was a shadi happening in Lucknow a few years back, and I was, uh, you know, one of the privileged people to be invited to the shadi. It was our dear Pratyush ki shadi. <laughs> and uh, it was a beautiful arrangement and a very lavish arrangement with a very nice musical evening happening we were all wearing pagadis and all that 
<laughs> and i had the opportunity that day of course i was already, already interacting with um, with ayush and pratyush but i had the opportunity to go to um, uh, mr satyaji uh, senior mr mithal uh, first of all he is a very charming man uh, he's he's a very grounded charming man which is even more fascinating because then you will end up you know having more discussions with him um uh, so i i just went to him and to ask him this very simple question that what is your journey i i obviously did not you know in a shaadi ka forum you don't ask people you don't talk stocks but i felt i should go and ask him what is his journey now you must have this background that he is the shaadi wala in the sense that you know he has to cater to so many people there are so many guests it was a very packed uh, event <laughs> uh, boy side girl side so many people etc miss dina mehta is sitting there so many other distinguished people are sitting there he got so fascinated that literally he put the in one second he was like willing to take me to his old office and, uh, and I, had the advantage, i had the advantage of going and seeing his office and you know they had moved to a modern office by that point of time which also i went to see but uh, it was almost like he could correlate to the chair in which he would sit where he would do research what kind of way he would function etc and and you know that to me it itself was a very big learning it was like and this is not just true about investing this is true about any any business that you get into if you uh, put your heart into it if you put your entire soul into it then you will find the reason to succeed and i found in them the reason to succeed uh, and that according to me was the biggest learning that i've had from them they're all fantastic people they're always happy market you know i if the market has a if the market falls a lot and suppose uh, ayush and i are having a discussion so ayush in the market following market is talking about the fact that ya hota hai bhi it was expected bad bhi gaya tha theek ho jayega so it's all right he defers the thought then i ask him uh, daddy kya kar rahe hain wo kehte hain daddy bullish to hamesha hi hote hain na daddy kab bearish hote hain so i i think that is that is one of the best things in them that they're always looking at opportunities they're always have this uh, passion towards it and that according to me uh, of course Uh, this not to take away from pratyush and ayush's entire effort in terms of making screener and all the research that they do uh, but uh, but uh, uh, hats off to them they are a beautiful family and it's really nice that you're making them speak both uh, i in fact i put a request on twitter ki ayush and pratyush ke sath unke papa ko bhi bolo thoda bole hain thodi yaad bhi aati rehti hai unki thank you so much <laughs> Safir bhai, you are a rock star, and uh, it was a you always, I mean, uh, make out the best. I mean, but uh, uh, we all are always in awe of your multitasking capability. You are a, I mean, it's a privilege for us to be uh, connected to you and having you as a friend, mentor, and part of this group today. Thank you so much. मैं आपको एक बात बताता हूँ कि देखो सबको मालूम है कि इनके स्टॉक आइडियाज बड़े अच्छे होते हैं क्योंकि ये तो अब डॉक्यूमेंटेड है ये बहुत लो की रहते हैं लेकिन बहुत अच्छा काम करते हैं तो ये सबको मालूम है लेकिन मैं आपको एक बड़ी इंटरेस्टिंग बात बताता हूँ ये भी बड़ी वर्सिटाइल पर्सनैलिटी है आयुष को अगर आप स्टेज पर डालोगे और बोलोगे कि शाहरुख खान का डांस करके दिखाए तो मैं तो स्टंट हो गया था मेरे को तो लगा ये पता नहीं ये हो क्या गया आयुष को <laughs> they have a beautiful side which is which is the fact that they really enjoy life and i think that is a great blessing <laughs> thank you thank, thank you. you for adding uh, life to the spaces in addition to the insight shared by ayush so ayush uh, one question is from uh, lavanya tomar he is asking like how has uh, his investing framework changed from when his initial experience was say 4 5 years and now uh, as on today he is asking <laughs> अभी तो पहले सफीर भाई के बाकी ही ही इज़ इज़ अ अ एंड एंड आई आई थिंक द काइंड ऑफ पैशन दैट यू सी इन हिज लाइफ इट इंस्पिरेशन फॉर एवरीवन थिंक हाउ हाउ व्हाट ऑल ही हैज अचीव्ड इज एक्स्ट्र॑र्डनरी कमिंग टू लवनिया आई थिंक सी when we started off in early 2000 time when i started off investing that tor pehle se kar rahe hain at that time i think having a small capital mein ek bahut zyada ye key rehta hai ki hum log ka pehle hum log matlab hamesha hi hum log bahut risk averse rahe aaj bhi hame market mein bahut dar lag raha hota hai har baar and we are always worried about something or the other but at that time we used to be very like of having a mindset ki jahan pe hame like uh, protect karna hai matlab ki uh, if a stock used to go up 3 4x 
we'll try to sell at every point of time whenever the stock is rising to take away the gains take out the capital so that kind of a thing was there and replan that it for new ideas so that is what we used to do more of it in the initial years and um, um that's the only thing i think we are trying to change as such matlab where and we are trying to uh, focus more on the business if if that business is actually something unique out there the entrepreneur has built it well he is honest he is doing good work there's there growth opportunity then be more patient this is the only change we have been trying to do and uh, lastly it's the same thing that we have been doing from before working more on numbers trying to find undervalued companies and uh, uh, um, yeah i think i'm i'm not sure if that answers your question but this is what i can think of all right and uh, eklavya eklavya has a question around like have you ever invested purely on the basis of scuttle but and and one question in addition to this is like how do you think to reach out to management of say nano caps or micro caps uh have you uh, what was the first question have you done uh, have you invested purely on the basis of say scuttle but only uh honestly i don't think so i've done that i mostly it has been for a starting point has been numbers or some insight some framework for someone so so that has been the most of the case and scuttle but i think mostly has happened later part of the story matlab ki jaise uh, even in the case of avanti feed what happened we that bought it to a notice ki wo papa turn around numbers dekhte hain so the company was having a book value of 70 80 and the stock price was 35 and it had come out with the first quarterly result which was very good and that is where he bought and i didn't do any work for some time then i saw the stock had tripled and then i started reading the annual report and i got insights ki yaar yahan to ye bar bar expansion ki baat kar rahe hain change in industry ki baat kar rahe hain that is when i jumped in then after 2 3 years donald came in and he said are ye to zyada achhi story hai let's go and meet the farmers meet the dealers and that is where we did scuttle but so many of us scuttle but has happened much later after we have done all the homework we could do initially uh, based on the annual report based on the credit rating report based on the whatever data you can lay your hands on because when you doing scuttle but you have to be more informed about the industry the journey the products then only you can have a meaningful conversation with someone and add value to it so perhaps that's why it has not been the other way round uh, still if i have to think of scuttle but idea on which i have invested is probably zomato thoda bahut wo liya hai because i use too much of the app now uh, i keep ordering a lot and i feel they have done a very uh, uh, very nice work uh, uh, yeah so second i think yeah nahi wo bhi nahi tha electra bhi nahi yeah so the second question ki how do you uh, try reaching out to management of a micro cap of less than 100 crore i think um uh, is that the question or how do you reach out to a management yeah yeah that was the question okay so when a company is very small but obvious what happens is the promoter is very busy in his operations or they are not very friendly with the investors they are not um having a ir and all those things that you can reach out to a company but uh, first of all i would like to say one thing that people feel ki management milne se bahut kuch change ho jata hai aapko kuch insight mil jati hai i think that is not true most of the work should be desk work uh, desk work first and then maybe once you meet someone to get some insights on what he is thinking how he has thought about the business how his infrastructure is how our, how his team is that is what is helpful but not more than that so this is how i think about meeting the management and going around it um if the management is not accessible what you can do to reach out to him first this i learned from donald matlab 10 years back i never thought i could ever interact with the management meet them but donald showed us the way the way is do lot of hard work do so much of work on that company that product that you can write meaningful questions do your homework and send it out to the management so once you do that set of questionnaire that you can build which are very meaningful which have lot of insights relevant questions usually i have seen if it's a management who is passionate about his work will be open will will get interested and will give you a meeting um, and and interact so i think that's the way right there are many questions around like is there any manual or say any videos available so as to i mean around uh, using uh, the screener in a more efficient manner for say um 
we have not been uh, so we have done some workshops uh, uh, in which we have tried to share how we use screener ourselves and what are the functionalities of those different functions that are out there on screener so we did a video with vivek mashani we did it with uh, varinder bhai of omkara those videos are there on youtube we have a screener channel um, uh, uh, ishmohit has done a video in which he has explained how he uses the feature and he finds them useful i think sahil has done a twitter thread so these are some of the ways by which people can learn more about screener and how one can use it efficiently we also started a short uh, video series in which we uh, on twitter itself there's a thread if you go to screener handle and you follow it so you'll see a, a thread in which we try we try doing short videos on new features that we introduce to explain a bit about those features quickly and we also have a change lock on the website on the screener at the right bottom if you will go on the home page there is a change lock uh, on what's which we new? what's new kind of a thing on which we post about the changes great great i also try to i mean compile a thread on this if uh, time allows so so there is very interesting question from sahir sachdev he is asking like uh, if if the management is good and meets the uh, honesty criteria how does you judge a small cap or micro cap management's ability to scale what what all aspect you look for provided wow. the data data available for prior years is very limited uh, so it's actually very very hard <laughs> it's like being able to say ki who will be the company who will actually scale up and it's not easy it's very very hard so there there are no right answers to it but uh, usually the framework has to be around understanding uh, uh, the change that the company is bringing in so like there are several models that one can think of like what is the product how useful it is how innovative it is is this a company which has brought a product which has a long long runway to go those are some of the frameworks that you can have like uh, in the case of astral it was a new product which was replacing the traditional plumbing thing in india and so that had a very very large opportunity and that is what perhaps people understood better than us that uh, uh, and and that was the reason for that long runway uh, then i think uh, uh, in the case of like shivalik or electra or so many other companies which are in ev again you see that the runway is very long and that is how you can think of scalability um, other than that i think the other important ingredients are which you should focus on while thinking about scalability are two other things one is the management and the team he is building around because many often what i have seen is that if it is a individual person who has not built a great team he gets stuck at some point or the other and he is not able to scale up other thing that is very important is the financials itself and financials tell a whole amount of story for any company so if there is a company which is having good profitability i think that is a very essential part to have that continuous growth if a company is profitable if he is generating decent cash flows then he is able to reinvest into the future developments hire good people grow from time to time so Uh, and again all these things are told by all great investors warren buffett all the books that why roc is important if the company is not having sufficient margins roc then at some point of time it will get stuck on scalability it will have to rely on outside capital or such kind of things and that makes things harder so uh, if you are having a company which has these characteristics that is where i feel one has to uh, be patient and can imagine about the scalability in coming years also one has to keep questioning it from time to time matlab every 6 months 1 year 3 years you have to re question redo some work to have that insights and confidence building about the scalability so from day 0 you will never know that this company is going to be next 10x actually bola jaye to aapko ye bhi nahi pata hota ye double hogi ki nahi hogi matlab mostly when you start buying a stock usually we have always bought it for some near term reason ki here is a company with some good numbers will it double in 2 years 3 years this was the thinking mostly but as we got invested we learned more we got more informed and the company delivered and you get that confidence to ride along with them right so there is another interesting question from malhar manik so he is asking like you have mentioned on several occasions that you have seen corporate governance improve as companies scale and grow so where do you draw a line in case of corporate uh, governance in terms of what is acceptable and what is not yeah uh, um mother again a young guy doing lot of enthusiastic good work 
uh, I love his energy. He works on so many companies, small companies, and he is doing so much of stuff. So, uh, very interesting guy. Uh, I think, uh, like I shared this thing earlier. I think many of these small, small corporate governance issues, like taking high salary, having some related party transactions, all those things are not that important to me. If the company is having good numbers, I mean, basically, if a company is having like twenty percent operating margins, good ROC, it is growing well. I usually think that it is tough to make such kind of margins. Then, if he is doing wrong, then these margins cannot come. So, usually, I give those benefit of doubt in. companies which are small which are growing and i try to ask these questions around governance around the shortcomings to the management whenever i get a chance at the agm or something like that if you find the answers reasonable enough because many often there are valid reasons why those things are out there that there might be exchange of family there might be a uh, some other particular reason to that guy and you have to be a lenient on those things so that is okay but if those things don't get solved or answered that is something what you need to be critical of and take note of and take some action or think about it um um so to give a practical example like uh, there was a company stylem stylem industry we were very early investors in it we invested in this company at 100 200 crore market cap only and at that time anyone i used to talk to despite good numbers all those things were very critical that this company has a in lot of investment capital tied up in a it building which is yielding nothing and they have a debt due to that and then there were some other issues also i think the promoter took a preferential and people take that as a negative but in 3 4 years a pe fund came the stock went up 10x and all those things got taken care of the guy sold off the it building the balance sheet got lightened up and from there it became another 10x i think so <laughs> this is what happens and i exited it very early because i had those issues on my mind that here's a company which is not right and something will go wrong this and that so when companies are small i think uh, till it's not a question wherein you feel that this promoter is cheating you off or doing something substantially wrong i think that's okay uh, and the other example where things blew up for me was kitex uh, i was very confident on the company the products i liked so many things about it but there were several, several issues with they never solved and they just kept increasing with time and and it just blew up so i don't have a right answer but this is what i could share on it so so how how you take it when you listen to a disconfirming evidence about a stock which you are very positive about and that's very important to hear matlab if you get a disconfirming evidence either you can shut it off which is very negative which will bring loss to you if that guy was right so i think it's very important to listen to it but at the same time you have to form your own opinion so for example uh, if you go out and talk too much for every company you will hear negatives and many often those are not right like in the case even for companies like astral avanti polymedic or all those large winners i've had people who told me some stuff which was very very negative about the promoter he is this kind of a person or there's a company like acrocell if you think about it this company we invested very very early so many years back that bought it because he said that look at the products the things are so beautiful these are products which will be used more in coming years and the market cap was so low but you talk to people and people will say the promoter plays polo this and that and they'll form some vague opinion and but the company has done very well so i think opinion and things like that is something what you can disregard if the numbers are out there so we try to rely more on the core numbers the numbers that the company is reporting is much much more important than the opinions and other things like we get like this happened in shivali also in 2018 19 when there was a tough period what i shared about earlier the stock was falling at that time i know several investors who went along with with me and everyone has a opinion at that time because things are not going right and people will say things about the promoter he is this kind that kind he will never create value but none of that happened and they have been actually they have done things right all along so i think the right way is focus on uh, what the company is actually delivering and other things should get diluted all right and, okay, and also i think there's a role of debt on balance sheet so generally i think opinions on companies which have too much of debt and those things matters because things blow up over there 
वाइल्ड कंपनीज विच आर वेरी सिंपल विथ लाइट बैलेंस शीट वहां पे इतना डर नहीं होता है मतलब इफ यू आर इन कंपनीज वेयर द कंपनी इज पेइंग टैक्सेस द कंपनी डजेंट हैज टू मच ऑफ डेट दो थिंग्स आर नॉट समथिंग व्हिच विल ब्लो आउट सो दिस इज समथिंग दैट हैज जनरली हेल्प्ड अस मोर राइट so there are many questions around the sell strategy so so and also on top of that uh, does technicals find any place in your framework uh sell strategy we don't have one it's something we are trying to figure out but uh, i think uh, it's the toughest thing in the market and uh, there's no right or wrong uh, way around it uh बट वन थिंग इज फॉर दैट यू शुडेंट है सेल स्ट्रेटेजी फ्रॉम बिफोर पहले से नहीं सोचने का है कि हमें इस पॉइंट पे सेल करना है बिकॉज वेन कंपनीज ग्रो दे इवॉल्व एंड दे मे ग्रो ऑन टू बिकमिंग द नेक्स्ट बिग थिंग सो इफ यू हैव अ प्री डिटरमाइंड थिंग लाइक पीपल हैव दीज थिंग्स की यू नो यहाँ से यहाँ स्टॉक चला जाएगा या ये हो जाएगा तो आई सेल या टेक्निकली ये हिट हो जाएगा आई सेल आई थिंक दैट शुड बी अवॉइडेड इनफैक्ट we don't follow too much of technicals though i have i have i 15 years back 10 years back i tried learning it from a, a relative himanshu bhaiya in indore he was very kind enough to uh, give lot of time and he shared lot of things and since then i do follow a bit of technicals uh, and more these days where people share so much of technical things so i try to learn from it um, technicals are helpful in buying i think for sure so first thing is like first time when you come across a stock if you find it like it on fundamentals just go and buy don't think about technicals at all technicals can be used to optimize like um, um, to give a example like in the case of sandur uh, i've been quite interested in this company for a few years and first time i bought i kept accumulating but then there was a point in 2021 or so when the stock was going to cross the previous highs of 4 5 years back and at that time fundamentally i could also see that the company was doing a expansion which was getting completed there was a better up cycle happening so i could load up much more because of those technical inputs which i got uh, so i think it helps you in buying better uh, for the selling though there are strategies with many of my friends who are very good in technical share but i don't follow it i think basant meshwari recently mentioned that technical selling me follow karoge sara mal bik jayega so i think that is the problem and especially in small mid caps stocks can fall 30 40 50 percent for no reason even if you're right stock can fall 50 70 percent for no right reason if that happens if you're using stop loss pura mal bik jayega so and it's tough to re-enter so i don't like to follow uh technicals when it comes to selling right There but yeah you can you can think when those warning signs happen ki kya galat ho raha hai company mein that way you can think about it Fair enough, fair enough. So, microcap investor has a question for Pratyush. He is asking, do you have any plans in pipeline for adding ADX, DI plus DI negative, and relative strength of stock over Nifty or Sensex? Uh, we recently added uh, RSI and MACD, and उसके बाद कई उनका आया था कि relative strength को add करे. So, uh, uh, I need to learn more about these things. जो बाकी के technical indicators हैं, वो अभी कोई plan नहीं है near term में. right so so one question is from dev is sip in small cap mutual fund better than actually trying to find multi baggers for someone who is into 9 to 5 job and wants uh, significant uh, wants significantly to invest in equities um i think uh, uh, first of all investing is the most important thing that uh, Uh, first thing that people need to understand is that you need to save money um, from your earnings save a good portion of it and put that money to use from time to time and uh, equities over long term has been the best way uh, inflation proof and there's a growth opportunity so doing it is more important than doing it in the best way so i think for a person who is not too much involved into self research and all those things mutual fund is the right way if he cannot give time because investing directly is not easy uh, it is simple it is easy but it is tough also and you need to give lot of time to it so till you are not not uh, 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 developed some expertise to it maybe mutual fund might be a better route that way all right so one question is from ashish desai he is asking uh, uh, if we have a lump sum amount of say 10 lakhs 
should we put all money in one or two stocks or we should create a portfolio of 8 to 10 stocks again uh, this will get answered based on the homework and confidence that individual person has if he has done too much of work on those two three companies and if he feels that uh, he can take those risk good for him but generally i would advise seven eight stocks bare minimum we actually do more than 20 25 30 stocks as the core portfolio because uh, uh, that gives us a peace at night great so one is a stock specific question you can feel free to say no to it but again i read it out for you this is from ketan jain he is asking any view on zomato's acquisition of blanket no strong view as such but i uh, just randomly see in my home my friends that all of them have been using blanket very frequently so I think uh, 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 Pratyush and I interact and Pratyush has been a fan of Dipinder Goel. He loves the work they have done. He likes the technology they have created and I use the app too much. So I I find there's some merit to it. I'm not very sure about all these things. So uh, no strong view. Great. So again, Ish Mohit has one question. He's asking, do you think we have uh, overblown corporate governance issues due to 2017 cycle? Uh, one issue out of 10 in small caps on governance are always possible. What will be your advice to a youngster today? As governance issues, uh, just in my view, even small ones are blown out of proportion. I totally agree with Ish Mohit. I think what happens in the market is that uh, we are too opinionated. If stock uh, is falling and somebody will write something, everyone will try to get out and it creates a negative environment. And, you know, people believe in that negative kind of insights. Similarly, on the upside, even if somebody will post some small positive, everyone will feel that this is the key thing about the company that you know it and you give too much of weightage and you feel happy about it that, you know, I picked it out. While the stock may be rising just because of that positive mind, market and framework and doing good because of that. So I think uh, I I have seen so many corporate governance issues, which in my opinion were okay. There was not that serious a thing, but they get blown out, I think, in markets. And uh, that's what causes a lot of fall in the stock. But I think if you have some longer term perspective, if you have a longer term capital, and if you believe that that was not that important thing, you have another perspective, those might be opportunities also. Right. So Sam Vardhan, Vardhaman, sorry. Yeah, he has a question. If some stock is trading at highly overvaluation, then doing short selling is part of value investing? Uh, no. <laughs> you can get really trapped in short selling. Please don't do that. And like, uh, also there are questions around averaging up and averaging down. So how how exactly you go about it? So fundamentally, uh, like we shared that we have been more of gram kind of a thing wherein we have focused more on valuation than numbers. And we have been more of an average down person. So if a stock is there in which we believe it is undervalued, things are okay, right? We we continue to buy even if it falls 30, 40, 50%. Though we keep continuing to reevaluate as to if we are wrong or not. But we are okay to buy if we believe in what we think. Um, averaging up is another thing. It's an art. I think uh, it has become po too popular. People say that stock price is going to be bad, then I don't believe in that. I think averaging up should be done if you get new insights, new fundamental insights, new performance by the company, which takes it to the other level. If those things are there, then averaging up makes sense rather than averaging up just because the price is going up. All right. So we have another question from Harshit Toshniwal. He's asking like in current market valuations of even small caps have risen 8 to 10 times. What is the comfortable number for you to keep margin of safety and enter small micro caps? Uh, yes, I think markets, uh, especially in the small mid caps, the valuations have gone to the other end, especially the SMEs. I think the kind of action that is happening out there is a bit scary. Uh, but uh, so we have been uh, given a background, I think in earlier years, we have seen that usually small companies used to be more like orphans. focus risky, And because of that, many often we used to get small cap companies in single digit P multiple. And that is the range we are very, very comfortable to buy companies. If we are getting a stock with which we believe has good things, right product, right numbers, we 
get excited to see 7 8 10 12 p multiple that's the range we look at um i've i've rarely bought stocks at 30 40 p multiple but of late i see that people do that if if they see their story is there momentum is there but that is i feel is dangerous for small and mid caps right ravi has a question market cycle are shortening do you see we should change our strategies especially for small capital base uh, certainly in a given time frame business bound to do well even if you don't even if you don't but when you see people around you so basically he is asking like if you have uh, short listed companies and invested in those so there are period uh, time of consolidation and periods of pain but but people are getting affected by uh, the noise or maybe other people doing good uh, during that time so how to tackle such situations um i think again it comes down to what you want matlab people who are too focused on return will not be able to withstand the drawdowns that happen in stocks if you are not comfortable on that then okay you may exit and try to reenter but uh, for someone who is in market if you have done your home homework if you have done your work wherein you have a belief for the company then drawdowns and look consolidation are part and parcel and you have to accept it and perhaps that is why a diversified portfolio helps us i think being put in companies which are doing nothing because something or the other works in the portfolio and you you are happy with that <laughs> right ayush so udipta has a question like views on smart electric uh, metering segment as government is planning to install 25 crore smart meters in coming years so from investment point of view uh, shall we prefer smart meter uh, manufacturers or the amisp companies that are going to implement it um we usually are stock specific people we don't have strong sector views but uh, in this case uh, yes this is seems to be a good opportunity growth opportunity the government is very serious about scaling this up doing lot of smart metering um i have two companies uh, in our portfolio again this is not a recommendation but more of a discussion uh, like shivalik and permanent both of them make shunts which go into smart meters so i feel indirect ways of playing this is better because what happens the companies which are on the execution side they have to deal with governments and that is where the uncertainty comes in and many often we are seeing that things don't play out as well as the growth in the sector happens all right and this is mukul agarwal's question is asking like how do you build positions in nano caps or micro caps given that there is not much liquidity in stocks so uh, 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 my dad is the person who manages it and he is he has his own tricks and ways of accumulating stocks uh, he does it very very patiently for long periods of time like uh, if if we are convinced about a company we like it then he can buy it for months from time to time through the day he'll be on the screen he will keep seeing if there are some sellers out there then he'll just pick them up and do and other than that he'll he has some pyramiding techniques by which he'll place 100 shares at say 60 200 shares at 58 so that way so that if the stock falls you end up buying more and those kind of things he practices but you need lot of patience to keep buying from time to time that is how you accumulate micro caps without moving the price hello and he is asking like besides agms do you have any tips and tricks to access uh, small cap management who aren't holding con calls besides harassing the company secretary is there in any other way <laughs> <laughs> like i said earlier i think somebody asked this earlier and, and the answer was that you can do lot of work send your questions to the company and maybe that will help hello hello yeah, yeah. so yes. there are some I can't hear you, Prince. Shashank, uh, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, yes, I can. So, so the views on Krishna Diagnostic, Mahesh is asking if you can pass on the question. Uh, I like to skip that. Yeah. Okay. And view on EKI Energy. No idea. Skip that. Okay, great. And okay. 
so so another question is like your uh, allocation across uh, various asset classes is it like uh, all equity or uh, how you div- how, how you have diversified across uh, asset classes so we are kind of hardcore equity people and maybe 85% of our 80 85% of our uh, uh, assets would be in equities and that also in small and mid cap only uh, rest some is in maybe 7 8 10% in real estate and rest for liquidity right and uh, if i were to ask like how you define risk and uh, what's your strategy for risk management throughout mm, no i i don't think so i've been very good at managing risk risk management way only is answer is only diversification that we have and uh, by building a portfolio of companies which in each of the case we find reasons that this company is unique in its own sense and they have done well in past and they have plans to grow that is the only thing we keep focusing on um, that's what we do nothing too much around risk management till now and uh, in past we have had drawdowns of 50 70 80% 2 3 times it's not easy it's bad it's very tough to go through those periods that but that's what during bear times to us great so lavanya has another question sort of hypothetical or maybe we can say not so practical so capital base of say 5 10 lakhs can grow it to few hundred crores and if yes what what could be the strategy uh first i think somebody can somebody grow that much of money from 5 10 lakhs to maybe 100 crores answer is definite yes i know a lot of people in my own network who have already done it and uh, but few things are important one is that and yes i think it is at least 20 30 years that one should think of it is not that it will happen overnight in 5 years or something like that and uh, even if it happens over 20 20 years 25 30 years that's a great thing to have happened and uh, one should build himself that way so if you want to build that kind of a get that kind of a return you have to do things differently you won't get those outcomes by just focusing on names which are very popular on tv or which come there followed by everyone you have to do work on companies which are unpopular which are very cheap but you have done some work wherein you believe that this has something interesting in it and this can grow and become bigger and create a portfolio of such companies and that is what can reward you but uh, 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 and and don't try to do it very fast i think <laughs> do it in a easy way that will be more enjoyable right so so when when you hunt for stocks which can grow at above normal pace or multiply our wealth over period of time so what what pointers exactly you look for is there any any patterns which you look for or it's like they just happen i think they just happen the whole pattern is that we are trying to save ourselves first matlab when we are buying stock the first focus is that we don't go wrong matlab us samay sara effort hi ho raha hota hai ki isme kya kya खराबी है वो हम ढूंढे वॉट आर द शॉर्ट कमिंग बी फाइंड अबाउट बी अवेयर ऑफ इट एंड देन कम्स द ग्रोथ पार्ट सो ग्रोथ इज समथिंग दैट इज मोर ऑफ लक यू नो मतलब यू कैन हैव सम आइडिया अबाउट वॉट यू कैन फोकस ऑन इज दैट वाई दिस कंपनी हैज ग्रोन इन पास एंड दैट वॉज वॉट विल आंसर मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन सो हिस्ट्री हैज लॉट ऑफ वैल्यू इफ यू कैन फाइंड वॉट वॉज द रीजन फॉर द सक्सेस ऑफ द इन कंपनी इन पास दैट इज द प्रॉब्ली द रीजन वाई द कंपनी विल बी सक्सेसफुल इन कमिंग ईयर्स so focus on that and uh, uh, and try to understand what the company is doing to have growth in future that's it that's what we try to do i think and valuation matlab we are very uh, uh, thoughtful on valuations and even if there's a exciting growth we don't want to pay for it so if you get start off with companies at half the market valuation that is where you get your margin of safety right as miller question around this so so harsh mardan is asking like how do you get confidence to buy shares which have already run up say 4 5x uh, and how 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 you build your confidence buying those positions because there is a general bias uh, if this has run up this much wo aage nahi jayega types of ha hamare ko bhi dar lagta hai and we have not been good at doing that uh, many often we have let go of opportunities just because they have run up too much and we never bothered even doing some work on it and they went out to become very very big multi baggers so i think uh, that's something we don't have a good answer on uh, but uh, uh, 
basically there has to be some insight that you get at certain level which forces you to think that okay the journey ahead is even more exciting and there has to be something tangible that i can see in measure the reason for that success and some reasons why it can be replicated again so that's what i try to think if, even if i'm trying to evaluate a company which has run up a lot right so ashok engineer is asking do you have any view over ev sector from here not a strong view on the sector but i think uh, uh, the way the things are happening of course it's it's a fast growing area and lot of um, growth will be there but it will be very tough to pick out the winners because uh, there are so many companies doing things in ev how do you figure out ki who will be successful and who will be not that's a tougher part sector will grow but who will be the winner is tough to figure out right so ram is asking uh, are you looking at the advanced enzymes space any any view over it mm, no views okay and guys uh, uh, oh, ayush how good we are on time it's already two hours and and the speakers if they have any questions uh, they f- feel free to come in between and ask ayush yeah ayush um i think it's been a good time uh, maybe we can uh, wrap in next few minutes okay great so so i have uh, many questions in the comments i try to read out uh, the questions which are not stock specific and we can uh, take uh, limited answers to that yeah hmm. okay so so let me uh, uh this question is on uh, is there a screen for egms uh, this is for pratyush i guess yeah. uh, no we don't have that currently one can set an alert so in uh, in that uh, uh, latest announcements uh, option on the right side bar uh, one can create a tab for egms and it will automatically alert you if there is any announcement related to an egm okay so are you is it like totally bottom uh, i mean no top down approach uh, you do you also identify teams and sectors mm. uh... largely it is bottom up only i think rarely it has been that we thought of a sector and went around but yeah like ev story like i shared professor bakshi shared about us and we that was the eye opener for us ki this will be the next big sector so we tried focusing on companies which are working on ev and try to build a portfolio around it so that's what we did few years back okay, great so pk has a question around like do they have special situations uh, portfolio allocation uh no we have not done well on special situations we have not done much okay there is some different question from mind speaks your view on ai especially with uh, chat gp any ai related companies you analyze chat gpt ke reference pe any companies that you analyzed ai uh, i am not aware if any of the listed companies in india are related or in that space it's definitely a very very exciting space and <laughs> lot is happening in uh, in this area uh, i am fascinated by the well of whole technology and there are few very good videos around how that well how chat gpt is developed and uh, i am well of trying to learn more about those things i don't think any listed options are in this space okay great so chandra shekhar karpur is asking like whether screener pees are correct for sme companies for sme companies uh, the pees can be matlab uh, with the lag in case of sme companies they don't publish quarterly balance sheets so on screener we have quarterly balance sheets in case of uh, uh, smes they publish half yearly balance sheets they don't publish quarterly results and because they don't publish quarterly results so the way the back end data is provided to us by the data providers those balance sheets are not available to us the half yearly balance sheets and that's why in case of smes we take the annual balance sheet for calculating the p the uh, number of outstanding shares as well as the earnings the numerator that is calculated based on annual earnings uh, and in case of smes that for that reason that half yearly earnings might not be considered for p calculation as soon as they publish their half uh, annual uh, result Uh, for example uh, for the month of march if they publish their annual summary in month of april then that will be considered great great so md ehsan has a question come suggestion like uh, are you mulling to add cfo to ebita or cfo to pat features uh, in the screener uh, 
or is it already available i mean uh so bhaiya keeps uh, matlab we keep discussing it, like we can improve that cash flow statement that we show on screener uh, adding a field which compares the cash from operations with the operating uh, profits that can be very helpful but we haven't been able to figure out any particular ratio the problem with these ratio cash cash flow related ratios is that they are very volatile in individual years but they are better to consider when we take a group of years if we consider cash flow ratio for a block of 3 years and keep calculating it on rolling basis that ratio is much more helpful because that is less volatile than uh, seeing that number for individual years uh, and because we don't have any standard formula or standard ratio around that we haven't been able to add it but it is in the to do list we would want to have some ratio which compares cash from operations with the uh, uh, operating profits but on a block of years on rolling basis right fair enough so pavan has a question how do you avoid bias when interacted uh, interacting with like minded people <laughs> bias will be there i think it works at sometimes in your favor sometimes against i think it's part of the thing so this is for pratyush whether export and domestic revenue break up over the years for a company can be added to screener uh, earlier it was available uh, so the data that we get from data providers and exchanges is the standard uh, financials reported by the companies earlier till 2017 i think the companies were required to disclose the export percentage as a part of their revenue in the schedule in the in the schedules in the notes to accounts but now that part has been moved to a separate director's report and it is no longer a part of financials and because it is no longer part of financials it is not reported it is not available to us from the data providers uh, because it is not part of financial statement so uh, it is not available for new companies now we are trying to source that director reports data for the fob earnings uh, outgo and in in, in flow right right so majid has a question is there any opportunity for small cap in fmcg space as most of these uh, companies are already i mean in, taken by p and uh, vc investors Mm. Uh, there should be opportunity matlab um, i don't think so i have a good answer towards it but he right that many of these companies are now getting funded at the pe level so that is better for them than coming to the market so usually uh, that's a challenge yeah all right so there is one question as a 55 years old person shall i even think about investing in small cap and micro caps this questions comes from the belief that small and micro cap are risky they are volatile but the risk comes from like what humphrey says risk comes from not knowing what you are doing so if you have done enough work on this area then age is not the barrier my dad is like uh, he's still the most active person amongst all of us he is the person who is most excited by the small and micro cap on a daily basis he is the most hard working person and enjoys that so age is not the thing the answer is that how much you are comfortable with them and what work you are doing around them right so vishal is asking why no share holding pattern for only nsc listed companies in screener any solution is on the cards uh, we are working on it so the xbrl format for reporting the share holding patterns is totally different for bsc and nsc um, and uh, uh, मतलब फिगरिंग आउट दो टेक्सोनॉमीज एंड एवरीथिंग एंड गेटिंग दोज एक्स बी आर एल इज लिटिल चैलेंज फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन केस ऑफ मतलब दी कंपनीज विच आर ऑन एन एस सी बट नॉट ऑन बी एस सी आर मोस्टली एस एम ई कंपनीज एंड इन एस एम ई कंपनीज दे आर नॉट रिक्वायर्ड टू पब्लिश दी एक्स बी आर एल्स एंड दी डेटा डेट वी फॉर शेयर होल्डिंग्स वी मोस्टली पार्स दी एक्स बी आर एल्स एंड बिकॉज एक्स बी आर एल्स नॉट आर नॉट एप्लीकेबल टू एस एम ईज वी डोंट हैव दो एक्स एम एल फाइल सो दैट्स दी चैलेंज देयर वी आर ट्राइंग टू फिगर आउट Uh, if we can solve it in some way right right so shekhar is uh, kethi ready shekhar when we have a portfolio of say 15 stocks of all small caps how should be the allocation as per your experience you see when you start off on ideas and usually the allocation is more like uh, a certain percentage like 
टू परसेंट थ्री परसेंट काइंड ऑफ एलोकेशन बट एज यू डू मोर वर्क ऑन देम इट डेफिनेटली मेक सेंस टू गिव मोर वैल्यूशन टू कंपनीज वेर यू मोर कॉन्फिडेंट और कंफर्टेबल विथ सो दैट्स वॉट वन शुड डू आई थिंक दैट चेंज हैज टू हैपन बट ऑन 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 अ अ नॉर्मलाइज बेसिस देर हैज टू बी सम बेस एलोकेशन दैट यू कैन डू एंड मॉडिफाई बेस्ड ऑन योर कम्फर्ट so one question from sajjan singh dagar is any examples of opportunity opportunities uh, lost and good winners that you can share no um, so i think during the talk itself we shared about so many names which have been big winners in past but again these are just names which have been big winners you can just try to learn from them that uh, uh, and lots of winners have been there in the indian markets we have been lucky to be part of some of the journeys like uh, avanti feed uh, ajanta pharma astral polytechnic balkrishna industry shivalik biometal godavari power so there are lots of winners out there uh, some of the missed ones are like the big companies like titan is something what i've seen for so many years every time i thought it is expensive as 60p but again it becomes a multi bagger and remains at 60 70 80 p multiple so then there's a pi industry we were very early investors in it but we got out very early and then Donald, a uh, very good friend, he did so much of work on it. He was so confident that this is one unique company which will go a long way, and that happened. But we could never get on that journey. So there are lots of such companies we have really missed on, and we feel so stupid about it. Everything was out there, but we had our own biases, mental blocks, why we didn't work on them and did nothing. So more opportunities we have lost than we have captured, actually. Right. So Pradeep Mishra is asking: Is there any screen to give list of stocks crossing all-time high? Uh, definitely. Uh, I think there is already many screens around this. If they will search for all-time high in the screens options, they will find few screens. Basically, they can write a query where, uh, like, the current price is more than point eight times fifty-two week high, and this will give those results. All uh, right. so one question is like uh, is there any way of uh, directly uh, i mean we get to know about company management through screener or do we have to go through the numbers and other other things uh, one needs to go through the numbers because these things are very subjective also like for one person the management might be good for another person it might be Uh, it might not be that good so it's a subjective thing we have tried creating that wiki thing where if anyone comes across any um, any articles any obvious things uh, any uh, court cases any uh, investigations going on around the promoters or anyone they can report it there and we try to incorporate them uh, they can themselves go and edit that text about the company and they can add those and people have been adding lots of search insights in various companies so uh we are trying to build that key insights model on wikipedia model and i think it will uh, take good shape over the over the years all right so there are two questions similar questions so so why don't you plan a small case for investors and second is like wanted to know if your advisory services are open to everybody and if yes what is the minimum amount um so i think uh, uh, first thing is that we are not offering any uh, stock advisory or any such services um we are largely doing our own family uh, fund management we are just managing our own funds the pms that also we have it is not for public because uh, it's more of a private thing for some friends and family uh, we are quite unsure about what we do we don't know will it work out in future or not and the small and mid cap space is very volatile so i'm not comfortable taking Uh, money or advising to people so we don't have uh, services around stocks fair enough fair enough so prativish like can we filter in screener for credit rating of companies this is from master stock uh, we tried creating that thing we tried to map each and every credit rating to a number so we created a model where we thought okay we will assign credit ratings between 0 to 1 to 5 based on triple a double a a but those uh those classifications keep changing from the time to time and it is very hard to extract them from the reports sometimes so we haven't been able to figure it out uh we might try it again in future but it is little uh, it's really very hard to do it actually 
another problem is that in many companies there are multiple instruments that is also a, a problem we face that one instrument might be rated as triple a while the other might be rated as double a or single a so what to do in such cases and that's where all those complexities kicked in right so one question is from zafar macha he is asking what's your take on gut feel based investing in micro cap the first of all uh, big gratitude to zafar bhai he has been a is one of the most extraordinary person when it comes to micro cap i think he's a he's the go to person matlab aap kabhi bhi inke paas chale jao inke paas itne ideas hote hain which were actually very very interesting and and he he would have done extraordinarily well and i'll share a very interesting story about the question he has asked the gut feel so zafar bhai had come to lucknow once and uh, and uh, my dad loves chatting about stocks and they both were chatting during his discussion he shared about some companies and he shared to us about swiss glass coat hle glass coat which is now called the stock was just 100 rupees or 150 rupees at that time and dad liked his idea so much that he just stopped and ki do minute ruke main abhi stock leta hu and he instantly bought it in the on the screen <laughs> and that was the biggest winner actually that 100 rupees stock became a 7 8000 rupees stock so that is what zafar bhai is for you and uh, that is his uh, specialty great great so another question is one second sorry uh, i missed on okay i am flooded with too too many questions so so ayush uh, as and when you say hard stop we can stop because questions i don't think people will uh, they will continue to ask questions around that so one question is for uh, uh, uncle ji the this question is uh, like what is his view indian market for the next 25 years will it be better from 1991 to till now or from here uh, till next uh, 25 years this is from deepak mehta mere ko to aage bhi bahut acha lagta hai kyunki abhi bahut hi kam public ka participation hai main samajhta hu 4% thi public ka participation hai jis tarike se hum log kya sab log padhai kar rahe hain aur sab tv aur sab tarah se connect ho rahe hain to aage to dheeme dheeme इसमें पब्लिक का पार्टिसिपेशन बढ़ना चाहिए ऊपर से अगर स्टेबल गवर्नमेंट रहती है तो मार्केट बहुत अच्छी चलनी चाहिए थैंक यू सर एंड आयुष वन क्वेश्चन इज अराउंड लाइक वैल्यूएशन सो व्हाट इज योर बेसिक फ्रेमवर्क एज फार एज वैल्यूएशन आर कंसर्न आई मीन सी आई थिंक दिस इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड टॉपिक आई थिंक मेनी ऑफन सो दे हैज टू बी सम सेंस अराउंड नंबर्स अगर हमें ये समझ में आ जाए कि अ कंपनी विच इज ग्रोइंग एट से फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑन अ लॉन्गर टर्म बेसिस विद सर्टन काइंड ऑफ नंबर्स देन वॉट काइंड ऑफ वैल्यूशन डज इट डिजर्व इफ इफ बेस्ड ऑन सम नंबर्स दैट इज द ओनली वे यू विल बी एबल टू इवेल्यूट इज दिस चीप और नॉट सो हैविंग दैट सम सेंस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट मतलब लाइक निफ्टी इज ट्रेडिंग एट से ट्वेंटी फाइव पी मल्टीपल नो what is the growth rate for all the companies in total so that is maybe around 10 to 12% now if you get a company wherein you are confident that 15 20% is the growth for next 3 4 5 years and this company is available at 10 12 times p multiple this is where you get excited and this is what the margin of safety or that disconnect between valuation starts for us and this is where you get excited so ye type ke framework hona bahut zaruri i think similarly on the other way the company goes to 30 40 p multiple and you can't figure out why this company will be able to grow at more than 15 20% that is where you have to start thinking that maybe this is too much and i need to get out and those kind of things then around valuation the other thing is how do you how do you give weightage to the quality of numbers like there are some companies which with very low capital requirement are able to grow their business reinvest distribute to shareholders so those are some really extra special companies and these are the companies which go on to become very big compounders or get that special valuation from the market so ye type ke thode framework agar hum apne mind mein bana ke and this can happen by studying good success stories so hum log bahut jyada time spend karte hain dekhne mein ki jo companies hai which have become big which get good valuation what were their numbers in past at what rates they grew what were their core rocs what were their fixed asset what were their balance sheet looking like keep doing this and you will get to build some framework in your mind i think 
राइट वन क्वेश्चन इज अगेन फॉर अंकल जी सो द क्वेश्चन इज लाइक कि ठीक है आगे मार्केट में सब कुछ अच्छा रहने वाली विजिबिलिटी दिख रही है बट इज देर एनीथिंग विच वी नीड टू बी कॉशियस अबाउट और जिसका थोड़ा ध्यान रखना चाहिए थिंग्स कैन गो नेगेटिव आल्सो वही होता है जैसे गवर्नमेंट अब बजट में कई बार ऐसी चीजें ले आती है टैक्स कलेक्शन के लिए जो मार्केट को हर्ट कर देती है इसे टू में लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल गेन पे टैक्स लिए आए थे तो इस तरह से कोई मेजर चेंजेस लाते हैं तो थोड़ी साल दो साल के लिए मार्केट काफी डिस्टर्ब कर देते हैं फिर मार्केट क्या करती है गवर्नमेंट क्या करती है उनको वो उसको रिग्रेट करने के लिए फिर बेनिफिट देने लगती है ये चलता आ रहा है शुरू से ही जब मार्केट चल रही होती है तो गवर्नमेंट उसको टाइट कर देती है जब टाइट हो जाती है तो उसको लूज करने में लग जाती है उसको हर तरह से चाहती सपोर्ट करे तो इसलिए ये सब चेंजेस को हम लोग को सोच के चलना पड़ता है कि जब ज्यादा फायदा हो रहा तो गवर्नमेंट कुछ ना कुछ टैक्स लगा देगी या कुछ ना कुछ इस तरह से मेजर्स ले आएगी जो कि मार्केट को हर्ट कर देंगे तो ये सब चलता है मार्केट में तो इसके लिए कॉशियस रहना चाहिए हर वक्त राइट ठीक है राइट सर थैंक यू सर सो आयुष लाइक लास्ट टू क्वेश्चंस वन इज फॉर यू एंड वन इज फॉर प्रत्युष लाइक प्रत्युष एनी एनी मेजर चेंजेस और न्यू फीचर्स व्हिच आर इन पाइपलाइन ऑन फॉर द स्क्रीनर अम तो मतलब दो टाइप के चेंजेस रहते हैं एक तो स्मॉल चेंजेस तो हम डेली बेसिस पे कर ही रहे होते हैं डेटा को और इम्प्रूव करना फॉर एग्जांपल एसएमईज है सो एसएमईज का डेटा हम कैसे और इम्प्रूव करें इस पे हमेशा ही वर्क चल रहा होता डेटा टू हाफ ईयरली बेनिशीट अब उसको इंटीग्रेट करने में थोड़ा टाइम लगेगा एंड दो हजार डेटा को किस तरीके से फॉर्मुले को कैसे इम्प्रूव करे किस तरीके से मतलब अर्निंग्स या पी कैलकुलेट करने के भी बहुत ढेर सारे तरीके रहते हैं आप एनुअल अर्निंग ले सकते हो लेटेस्ट टीटीएम अर्निंग्स ले सकते हो एसएमईज के केस में हाफ एयरली के दो दो हाफ एयरली को जोड़ के ले सकते हो उसमें भी कंसोलिडेटेड लेना है बिफोर एक्स्ट्रॉर्डनरी लेना है पोस्ट एक्स्ट्रॉर्डनरी आइटम्स लेना है किस तरीके से लेना है लॉट्स ऑफ वेज आर देयर टू जस्ट कैलकुलेट अ नंबर एंड वी कीप इंप्रूविंग देम ऑन डेली बेसिस इसके अलावा हम लोग थोड़े लॉन्ग टर्म डेवलपमेंट कर रहे होते हैं वो हम लोग साल में एक या दो ही मैक्सिमम पिक कर रहे होते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल अर्लियर वी पिक्ड अप दैट विकीपीडिया मॉडल आफ्टर दैट वी पिक्ड अप अराउंड इन्वेस्टर्स को ट्रैकिंग करने का मतलब जैसे जितने अब हम लोगों को फॉलो कर सकते हैं ऑन स्क्रीनर वी वांट टू ट्रैक पोर्टफोलियो ऑफ आशीष कशोलिया जी या फिर केडिया जी किसी का भी वी कैन फॉलो देम एंड दैट रिक्वायर्ड इंटीग्रेटिंग ऑल द डेटा पॉइंट्स अक्रॉस बल्क डील ब्लॉक डील शेयर होल्डिंग पैटर्न इंसाइडर ट्रेड्स एस एस टी ट्रेड्स उन सब में कहीं पे भी कोई यूनिक आईडी नहीं होता खाली नाम के बेसिस पे हमें वो डेटा क्लब करना पड़ता है एंड उसके अराउंड हम लोग ने काफी टेक्नोलॉजी बनाई अब उसी को थोड़ा और इंप्रूव कर रहे हैं कि क्या हम कॉन कॉल्स में उसको ला सकते हैं वो टेक्नोलॉजी को कि कॉन कॉल में कहीं पे वो नाम प्रेजेंट हो तो वो भी अलर्ट में आ जाए सो टेक्स्ट साइड पे अब हम लोग नेक्स्ट ज्यादा वर्क कर रहे हैं कि हमारे पास टेक्सुअल डेटा काफी हो गया कॉन कॉल्स आ गई है अनाउंसमेंट्स का टेक्स्ट है इन सब चीज को किस तरीके से इसको बेस्ट इंडेक्स करे किस तरीके से उसमें से हम एंटिटीज को निकाल के उसको इंटीग्रेट कर पाए उस पर हम लोग का थोड़ा सा लॉन्ग टर्म एफर्ट चल रहा है प्लस जैसा चैट जीपी मतलब एआई में भी सडनली लास्ट दो ईयर में बहुत ज्यादा चेंजेस हुए सो आई वांट टू ट्राई माय हैंड्स ऑन दोज एरियाज एज वेल कम से कम उसका टैप रखे कि क्या हो रहा है और अगर कहीं पे हो पाता है तो उस चीजों को इंटीग्रेट करें बट मतलब टेक्स्ट साइड पे हम लोग का थोड़ा फोकस ज्यादा है ग्रेट ग्रेट थैंक्स फॉर पुटिंग इन सो मच ऑफ एफर्ट सो आयुष लाइक द क्वेश्चन टू सम फ्रॉम यू इज लाइक की क्या मार्केट में आपका जो अभी तक का एक्सपीरियंस रहा है तो मार्केट में क्या करना चाहिए टू थ्री पॉइंटर्स और क्या नहीं करना चाहिए आई थिंक फर्स्ट इज वन हैज टू बी क्यूरियस एंड अबाउट स्टॉक मार्केट आई थिंक क्यूरियोसिटी एंड बींग देयर ऑल द टाइम मतलब आपके लिए एक पैशन बनना चाहिए rather than an effort to generate some kind of returns matlab many often when i meet young people i see that they are too return focused ki mere ko ye return chahiye main ye kar lunga wo kar lunga but return is an outcome it is it is in function of uh several things falling in place and that has to do with good sentiment of the market good economy good uh, uh, uh delivery by the underlying company and so many uh, things that fall in place so but at the at the core has to be your passion wherein you are intrigued by the stock market by so many companies you want to understand them better you want to collaborate research along with other people who are doing good stuff 
so you have to keep yourself engaged i think that is one thing second i think having a group of friends of people network of people to whom you can soundboard yourself that is something very important matlab because what happens is ki isme logo ko sahi rasta nahi mil pata hai matlab kai log aate hain starting mein they ask me how to go about stock market and when i talk to them i many of them feel that they are in some different kind of a thought process so having that right thinking process people who are who are actually working the right things if you can build that network of people group of people who are who are focused on something that you want to do that is something very important and that goes a long way in keeping you interested in market and motivating you and giving you good ideas and brainstorming on them from time to time uh what what to do the aur kya acha matlab what should one do anything else um yeah what not to do i think again uh, 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 when it comes to stock market people want to take shortcuts but they want to get rich quick i think this thought process though it looks easy when the markets are doing well but this is what hurts you and uh, 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 i have known friends uh, you know it looks easy matlab bahut logo ko bahut cheeze theoretically bahut easy lagti hai and some of those things just blow out suddenly matlab stock markets have that uncanny thing that in 6 months the whole thing will collapse and everything will get wiped out and if you are not fundamentally correct you can get taken for a ride so please don't ever take leverage leverage is something that people start with with 5 10% of the portfolio and in no time they don't realize that how they get trapped in it so that is something that one shouldn't do second i see that so many people try to do this fndo wherein they think that there are strategies which are risk free you can do selling of a put call this and that maybe there's a way out but i i i feel very uh, uh, risky about these things i think uh, this market is a ocean jahan pe long term mein there's a huge reward which is out possible so please don't try to uh, go for things which are uh, small return but high risk so try to position yourself into things where asymmetric returns can happen matlab downside is limited but if it goes right then large upsides can happen तो उन सब टाइप की चीजों में आप ज्यादा अपने आप को एक्सपोज करोगे एंड यू कीप डूइंग इट ओवर अ लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सम समवेयर यू विल इट विल वर्क आउट फॉर यू ग्रेट ग्रेट टू सम अप एंड सत्या सर प्लीज टेक आवर ग्रेटिट्यूड फ्रॉम द होल इन्वेस्टिंग कम्युनिटी फॉर हैविंग ग्रेट सन्स हु हैव एडेड सो मच ऑफ वैल्यू टू एवरीवन हु इज इन्वेस्टिंग एंड ट्रस्ट मी कोई ऐसा दिन नहीं जाता जब स्क्रीनर को हम उस पर मतलब कुछ ना कुछ देखते हैं एंड श्योरली एड्स वैल्यू टू आर इन्वेस्टिंग सो सर आपने कैसे मैनेज किया नॉर्मली मैंने जो मेरा एक्सपीरियंस रहा है ये होता है कि जैसे घर में अगर टीचर हो तो बच्चे उनसे नहीं पढ़ेंगे बाहर भले ही पढ़ लेंगे तो लाइक वाइज यू हैड बीन इन्वेस्टिंग सिंस लॉन्ग हाउ हाउ यू मैनेज टू मूव दैम बोथ इन टू इन्वेस्टिंग और इज इट लाइक दे ऑल दे डेवलप्ड uh interest or say passion for investing on their own are dekhe bhai jo paisa hota hai na ye aisa fascinate karta hai profit paisa samajhiye just like sweets bachcho ke liye hota hai na jab inko thrill milta hai ki acha inhone wahi hota hai market 20p pe chal diya aapne 10p pe koi acha se dhoond liya jo excitement in logo ko milta tha na wo inko fir khud hi wo speed de deta hai energy bhar deta hai वही सबके लिए जितने भी इन्वेस्टर्स हैं ना जब वो एक अच्छी स्टोरी ढूंढ लेते हैं ना सपोज करिए कोई चीज आप बढ़िया चीज सुन लेते हैं तो उसका जो मजा आता है कोई बढ़िया चीज खा लेते हैं या कुछ बढ़िया होता है ना उसका प्लेजर कितना रहता है यही सब चीजें इन लोग के साथ कुछ ना कुछ छोटी छोटी इवेंट्स होती रही तो दे इंजॉय इसमें इतनी वेराइटी है शेयर मार्केट में ना कि आप इनके मतलब की चीज ले आइए तो कुछ गेम टाइप होता है उनके लिए पजिल टाइप से रख दीजिए मतलब मतलब एडोप्टिंग टेक्नोलॉजी एंड न्यू थिंग्स मतलब हमारे घर में सबसे पहले पापा ने कंप्यूटर था एंड दिस वाज इन लेट 90s और अर्ली 90s जब कहीं नहीं होता था एंड ही हैज ऑलवेज गिवन अस लिबर्टी टू गो एंड डू थिंग्स मतलब ट्राई इट योरसेल्फ 
अपने आप करो अपने आप सीखो एंड दो ही इज देयर बट ही विल ही विल ऑलवेज लेट अस टेक रिस्क एंड आई थिंक एंड बी ओपन कि ये भी ट्राई करो वो भी ट्राई करो उससे बहुत कुछ सीखने को मिला वन सेकेंड ही डिड दिस थिंग ही हेज मेनी ऑफ एन आई सी इन फैमिलीज दैट पीपल हैव इक्विटी ओनली इन देयर ओन अकाउंट एंड दे डोंट क्रिएट अकाउंट ऑफ देयर चिल्ड्रेन और अदर फैमिली मेंबर्स हमारे डैड ने पता नहीं एक अलग ही सिस्टम किया कि हर किसी का फैमिली मेंबर का अकाउंट है शेयर्स का एंड एवरी अकाउंट इज ही हैज ट्राई टू ग्रो इट गिवन दैट इंडिपेंडेंस की टुमारो यू हैव आइडिया यू गो एंड बाई इन एनी अकाउंट एंड वॉट एवर क्वान्टिटी यू वॉन्ट ही हैज गिवन दो फ्रीडम एंड ओनली बाई डूइंग दीज मिस्टेक्स हिट एंड ट्रायल्स मतलब आई हैव डन टू मेनी थिंग्स इन स्टॉक्स टू थाउजेंड एट में जब मार्केट गिर रही थी मैं कैश स्टॉक में जहां मेरे पास पोजीशन नहीं होती थी मैं वहां जाके शॉर्टिंग करने की कोशिश करता था कि दिन के एंड में खरीद लूंगा एक दिन एक स्टॉक था वहां पे मेरा पोजीशन नहीं थी वो अपर सर्किट में बंद हो गया एंड आई वाज शॉर्ट ऑफ द क्वांटिटी आई डेंट हैड इट आई जस्ट शॉर्टेड नेकेड इन द कैश मार्केट और ऑप्शन भी हो गया उसका बट पापा ने मेरे को भी डाटा नहीं मतलब ही वाज लाइक गुस्सा आया होगा थोड़ी देर बट दैट्स इट सो यू लर्न फ्रॉम दीस मिस्टेक्स एंड दैट इज व्हाट आई थिंक दैट फ्रीडम गिविंग इज समथिंग दैट हैज रियली हेल्प्ड अस एंड एनीथिंग मतलब और ये भी है कि जैसे हम लोग कोई भी स्टॉक अगर शुरुआत में छाट के लाते हैं तो पापा हमेशा खरीदते जो होते मतलब इवन इफ ही लाइक इट डेंट लाइक इट इनफैक्ट वो मतलब बहुत ही एक्साइटमेंट से उसको सुनते थे हमेशा और तुरंत ही उसको बटन दबा के लेना उसको और भले ही वो अपना शेयर करते कि यार इसमें ये 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 चीजें बट जब खरीदोगे तभी आपको भी समझ आएगा कि कहा गया वो कैसा परफॉर्म किया मतलब मेनी ऑफ एन यू लर्न आफ्टर यू हैव बॉट दी स्टॉक जब वो स्टॉक गिरता है ना देन यू स्टार्ट डूइंग मोर होमवर्क गेट वरीड एंड यू लर्न सो मच ग्रेट ग्रेट एंड इवन आयुष लाइक आई एम जस्ट बिल्डिंग नेटवर्क अमंग यू पीपल तो मुझे इतना अच्छा लगता है इंटरेक्ट करके तो आई कैन गेस कि घर का क्या माहौल होगा एंड यू हाउ हाउ मच यू गाइस मस्ट बी एंजॉइंग द स्टॉक रिलेटेड एंड मार्केट रिलेटेड टॉक्स ग्रेट ग्रेट सो आयुष लाइक संजय इज आर रेगुलर व्यूअर एंड अटेंडी सो ही ही जस्ट सेंट इन अ स्पीकर रिक्वेस्ट सो वी टेक वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम हिम वुड इट बी फाइन राइट श्योर सो संजय यू कैन अनम्यूट एंड आस्क क्वेश्चन Sanjay, you are still on mute. Okay, maybe maybe some issue on. So, Sashank and Kumar Sora, any any clo- closing remarks uh, before uh, we we close the space? I think I'll, I'll just have one small uh, you know comment. Satya sir, I think you are the you know you have actually no reason to be bearish for the market because you are holding the two real multi baggers, both Pratyush and Ayush. <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> really great session and thank you for to all three of you for you know sharing all the knowledge thank you thank you so kumar anything on your part uh, you want to say before we close so i think uh, it's difficult to get ayush uh, you know a uh, lot of times in public and first time i'm hearing satya uncle so thanks prince for taking this effort and thanks ayush and satya uncle you know uh to giving us time i just hope payush will be you know more frequent and we learn more from his experience and satya sir uh you know l- i think the oldest person in the market i have ever heard right now i mean directly interacting is you so you know it will be a pleasure for us if we, if we can learn more and more from your experiences and you know if you can you know make these kind of interactions more frequently thanks a lot सर कभी मेरा लखनऊ का चक्कर हुआ तो मैं अपने आप आप इनवाइट कर रहा हूँ अपने आप को तो मैं आपको आके जरूर मिलूंगा लखनऊ आना होगा तो एंड इट वाज रेडी रेडी सी हैप्पी एंड आई मीन जो एक जोवियल नेचर आपका लगा बात करके दैट इज दैट इज बियॉन्ड एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड ग्रेट ग्रेट शशांक सेड इट वेरी राइटली दैट you have two multi baggers and, and there is no reason to be uh, bearish so ayush and uh, pratyush uh, any any concluding remarks from your end before we close um you know, first of all thanks a lot prince uh, you were very kind enough to give us this opportunity and include us on your platform uh, wherein like uh, i've seen that you have been doing great work bringing so many great minds thanks a lot for that the way you conducted this session i have no words the way you moderated handled all the questions it's a very tough task and you have done it 
amazingly well and thanks to everyone who came out for this taking out so much of time uh, encouraging us uh, giving us kind words i think uh, we are really indebted to everyone and uh, we feel really uh, happy and this is what keeps us going thank you so much everyone thank you Th- thank you everyone thank you thank you everyone thank you thank you sir and very well deserved appreciation ayush satyash sir and pratyush sir and thank you so much for your time and agreeing to my request uh, really honored to have a chance to host you for your maiden spaces and it was really insightful and the session is recorded uh, i'll be sharing with everyone uh, very soon and those who missed the interaction surely can revisit the recording thank you again uh, good night take care happy learning